Shalom Shalom. We are the true Hebrew Israelites coming from Great Millstone, Indiana camp out here in Gary. Here to give praise and glory be and honor and worship unto Yahweh. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who are the true rulers and leaders of Israel. And Shalom to the true and sincere Akim out here teaching and preaching this truth and truth and sincerity, man. All right. And so we finna get into a little lesson, man, because um, a lot of people, they depend on false prophets to get them where they're going to go, man. And, they, and these are the men that's most esteemed in the world, man. But Yahweh Shai didn't come like that. Yahweh Shai didn't come with all his glory, with all his might, with all his greatness, man. He came humble, lowly, and meek, man. You know? And the ones that ain't got that same spirit as Yahweh Shai, man, Yahweh Shai not dealing with, man. Nope. And he also didn't come all nice with, with, with hugs and rainbows, man. He, he was austere. He was direct. He was forward, you know. But he also had compassion. It was a perfect, perfect balance. That's right. Uh, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 1, it says, Who hath who have believed our report? To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? The arm, which is his strength, his might, man. That's my right hand man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's who, that's who Yahweh Shah was to your help. This is my right hand man. He's going to execute the things that I want him to do, man. You know? Right hand man. It's right arm, man. That's right. Dominant. You know? It says, uh, uh, for verse 2. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. Yeah, man, because our people. At that time, man, they, they wasn't um, they wasn't reverence the place that he came from, man. The place the place where our Lord came from, they said, uh, brother quoted it earlier, man. Is there any good thing that cometh out of Nazareth? I think that was uh, that was Thomas that said. You know what I'm saying? Because the the other disciples went to Thomas and was like, uh, no, it wasn't doubtful Thomas that said. It was Spirit, they don't know you. They know you, of, you know, as far as like being a person they knew growing up, but they didn't realize that you became a new creature and then you became a man of the Lord. So, but basically, in their mind, they're not gonna take you serious. They just think you, oh, that's just, that's just such and such. You know, they buy it. It's just little Ron, you know. Yep. They buy it. That was the thing you said. It? Oh, okay, kind of like. Is that when the time when he, uh, yeah, read it, brother Bob. Yeah, Bob yeah. This is uh, yeah, John yeah. one and forty six. And Nathaniel said unto him, Can anything, can, can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Uh -huh. Philip said unto him, Come and see. And Yahweh shot saw Nathaniel coming to him and said, Behold, an Israelite indeed, I mean. in whom is no guile. That means that he was here of the elect. Uh -huh. Right there, right there, point, point blank, right there, period. He is of the elect. Because, because the Lord said it. He said, Here it is, Nathaniel, indeed, an Israelite indeed with a. Uh, Read that again, Bob. If I may, uh, that's no that's the name yeah. I was trying to um, cause I thought about Thomas, but it was actually Nathaniel, cause he was the one sitting by the tree. Then Yahweh Shai revealed uh, yeah. that he was sitting by the tree. Yeah. yeah. And, and and Nathaniel said unto him, Hold on, where, where's that at again, Bob? Uh, John one and forty six. Okay, and Nathaniel said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Mm -hmm. Philip said unto him, Come and see. Yahweh Shai saw Nathaniel coming to him and said, Amen. Behold. Is like indeed yep. in whom is no guile. Yeah. So basically, he was an austere man, man. He wasn't with all the folly, man. He was like, you know what I'm saying? He said the Lord came from well. So it wasn't, a, it wasn't a matter of him jokingly saying it. It was a matter of him being serious. Like you said, the Lord came from well. Read it again. You gotta be kidding me. Because like, cause back in that time, you gotta think, Galilee was like a hood, like a ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Just like where we come from now. Projects. The projects, right? Yep, you know. And, and the thing said unto him, Is there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, Come and see. And I was shot, saw the thing come unto him and said unto him, Behold, an Israelite indeed is no guile. And Daniel said unto him, 
Whence knowest thou me? Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Before that Philip called thee, when thou was under the fig tree, I saw thee. Right, because basically he was of the elect. This is the proof right here. It's going to go right into it. Go ahead. Nathaniel answered and said unto yep. him, Rabbi, yep. thou art the son of Yahweh. Yep. Thou art the king of Israel. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, believest thou? Thou shalt see greater things than these. Boom, right there, come. Huh? Because the Lord said what? He said, I reveal it my secrets unto my servants, the prophets. Mm -hmm. See? Right. So I was gonna get yeah, he could get, get back into the Isaiah. That's the spirit though. He came from You know what I'm saying? He didn't come where people would have expected him to have came from. Because the richer uh families in in, in Judah and Judah was being worshipped as high priests and, and, and you know what I'm saying, right. rabbis and stuff like that. Man. And they was in Jerusalem. Yep. Capital of Israel. Uh, uh, the, uh, holy, holy of the if I may, like you can see how the Lord Yahweh he was dealing with the people that now they have the spirit. You know what I'm saying? They was dealing with the spirit. You know, he always addressed those people that were dealing with the spirit and not the ones who were actually more difficult. But you know what, real quick, Baba Kushai, just to line back on what you just said, you're right. Because the Lord know who his, his was, man. He already knew who, who, who to go get. And he don't, you don't know yep. what what uh, Nathaniel was doing under that fig tree. That's uh, right. You know what I'm saying? He but whatever he was doing, <laughs> it was something that was done in secrecy. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't for everybody to know. You know what he was probably doing? He was probably praying and meditating. Uh, <laughs> he was in the spirit. Uh, yep. You know, dealing in the spirit. Or the Lord probably started doing something unseen. And he was like, hey, I seen this. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Either way. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, something, it's something that it, Nathaniel had to acknowledge. Like, oh, it's shit. But you no, know, he you no, know, but he said that it was an Israelite mm -hmm. that was found with no guy. It was an Israelite that was, that was found with no guy. So basically, he had to do something on the rights. And that cut, if I can land back, man, that cut yep. smoke yep. having along. Man. Yep. Israelite, indeed, man. Let you know the elects are Israelites, man. Not no other goddamn nations, man. Hey, but see, he said an Israelite indeed because it's spiritual. Because an Israelite is the one that is a man of the most high oh. power. And, and also a brother Yahweh Shah. That's what a real Israelite is. That's why he, that's why he said a uh, 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 Israelite indeed, basically, according to the word. He, 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 he basically Nathaniel really did keep the law of sacrifice and commandment. Uh, he that kept word. it. He, he did it indeed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> that means without lying, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sound. Uh, verse two is uh, Isaiah fifty-three and two. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground, he have no form nor comeliness. Uh, and yeah, he, no comeliness, man. He didn't come in his, his grandeur, you know what I'm saying? His, 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 Cause he said what? He said, next time I come back, I'm not gonna meet you as a man. That's right. You know? Yep. When you pull a branch out of the ground, man, it's not beautiful or, you know, it's not uh, exquisite. It looks beautiful. It's, it's rough and it's in his group. You know what I'm saying? That's how he came. It says, uh, he hath no form, no comeliness, and when he shall and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Right. So he didn't come as the most handsome man or any of that, man. He came with the field of view. Which goes to Ecclesiastes 11. And it talks about esteem out of man for his raiment. Uh Ecclesiastes 11 and 2. Uh, command not a man, con, con, commend, commend not a man for his beauty, neither abhor a man for his outward appearance. Huh. And that's how the Lord came, man. He came to see who would truly accept him for yes. the words that he spoke. He didn't try to catch the eyes of, of men, man. He tried to see, like, who going to listen to the, the message? Huh. Because this is just invited to the rich man and the poor man. You know, everybody want to hear what the rich man has to say because he's rich. But don't nobody want to listen to the poor man. So the Lord knew right then and there when he was weeding out the elect, he was like, those that's poor, they going to hear me. You know what I'm saying? Even those that was rich in that herd, they, they had the right spirit on them, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they had the right spirit. He, he was trying to see who was going to take heed to the message, man. Yeah. Yeah, up here for that verse. This is Isaiah chapter 11, and I'm going to start at verse 1. And it says, And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, let's say a rod. Yes. So, 
about there. This is Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Mm. Verse 2, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And that rod is the branch. That rod also means like rulership, and it goes to being the shepherd. And it's going into your eyes shot. Talk about your eyes shot. Verse 3 says, It shall make him of a quick understanding and the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. Verse 4, But with righteousness shall he judge the poor. Yeah, so you can't kiss his butt when you're being wicked. You're not trying to hear what you got to say. It's more so watching it with you. That's right, huh? And, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. Meek of the earth. Yeah, he came for the humble and meek and the sincere. Man. He didn't come for those that I was already healed, as you said, man. They don't need a physician. That's right. He came for those that need a physician. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. Mm. Yeah, he been doing that since he was 12 years old, man. The moment he came into the age of accountability, he was in the temple with the elders. And all the elders was uh, marveling upon him, like, wow, who is this young man that knows so much? If I can land back, brother, he doing it now, man. Through the men of the Lord, we his mouthpiece. He's speaking through us. You know what I'm saying? That's why we don't never get glory to ourselves, man. That's we right, get huh? glory to Yahweh by Shema with Shah at the end of the day, man. Such as fly, but her fruit is the chief among all uh, among sweets. Cause what the bees do, man, they pollinate the earth. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Bees carry pollen from one plant to the next, drinking out the nectar, and going back to the beehive and, pr and producing honey, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Bees have a very critical important role in the earth. It's a movie called the Bee Movie, man. You know yep. what I'm saying? When they stop, when the bees stop working, all the plants in the world started dying, man. That's right. But that's what you're witnessing now. You see. Are killing all the, all the bees, man. Bees are basically going to be extinct. Yep. You know? Just symbolic to life. Uh, symbolic to life because what? Uh, the food that we eat eats vegetation. Bees pollinate the vegetation that we eat. That's right. Tomatoes, potatoes, uh, all, veg all vegetables, man. Uh, grass, because the grass is used to eat uh, feed the heifers, man. You know, they kill off the, these damn devils, they kill off the natural bees, and then in the lab create killer bees. You know? <laughs> so that's yeah. just. They're the devil, man. Goddamn mm. devil, bro. <laughs> Killer he's, bees. He's a yes. producer of death. Yes. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? The natural bees, you know, are productive to life. Yep. Mm. All right. They keep the like the cert the cycle, you know, uh, flying. You know. Yeah. And then you got the animals being confused, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? These animals, it's male on male, mm. woman on yeah. woman. They actually feed them with humans. Like they actually lose it. They're down to the world. We got them, you know, they're coherent. Yeah, well, that links up with Job 9 and 24. The earth was given to the hands of the wicked. It's right. It was. He's like, hey, you see what? You see who the wicked is, man. These trees are just, that tree still not even flourishing, man. That tree, the same right, tree. The other trees around it is growing, that, but that, that tree, tree ain't growing no that more. That tree man. looked like that tree a week ago, but now that tree is flourishing. <laughs> exactly. This one not. That's right. Yeah. There's a few trees over there. Well, that's the case. Well, that's the case. It's just people evidence of how this place, you know what I'm saying, is really dying. And it's supposed to be spring. Yes. And it was snowing two days ago. Yeah. Wicked as hell. It was yep. snowing and a week ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. I would also say, man, look at the ground. Yep. Yeah, plastic every goddamn wood, trash. Paper. As I said, paper. That, that be helping. That stop the earth from giving its own. 
a lot of things ain't even biodegradable, man. Yep. You can't, the earth can't even accept it, man. Yep. Like rubber. It's a virus. You know, it's it's a, a virus, virus to the world, man. That's right. Hey, I work for a, ha I work for a hazardous plant. And what they do with these, these steel drums and this hazardous waste, they bury this shit. They bury hazardous waste, flammable, toxic, you know, hazardous materials. They bury that shit. Electronics, they go and bury this shit. You know, and the earth will all the earth will take care of it. No, nigga. No, this ain't biodegradable. But uh, to speak back on Raymond, man, uh, verse uh, 11, Ecclesiastes, uh, Sirach, 11 and 3, I mean 11 and 4, boast not of thy clothing and raiment, and exalt not thyself in the day of honor, for the works of the Lord are wonderful, and his works among men are hidden. Yeah, so everybody's not hidden. You know, he was talking about the men that walk around calling themselves masters and rabbis, and that desire to do what I'm broad enough for that you know what I'm saying? Basically had the biggest borders on. Like, hey, I'm, big, I'm chief. I'm chief Israelite. You know what I'm saying? And, and the Lord was looking at them niggas like, you chief Israelite. So what do you know? Let me let me test your knowledge. Let me let me let me see what your mind is. Are you righteous? You know what I'm saying? And the Lord was exposing them, man. And they was they was big and bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, got heavy feet. But uh, I was speaking more on like the Lord was a, uh, a dry branch. They said he was a, 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 a dry root out of a dry ground. So he didn't look good, man. And he didn't wear uh, expensive raiments. And on the spiritual side of it, it ain't just what he was looking like. It was more so because the world itself was without truth, man. Yep. The judgment wasn't going forth righteously in the earth, man. And so when he came, he was setting things back in order. People didn't, they forgot the old ways, man. They started uh, going off of the uh, precept of men. You know what I'm saying? They stopped going off of what the Lord said. They started making up their own principalities, man. So the Lord had to come and give order again. Hey, you know, it's crazy, man. Listen, man. Fuck it, man. In fact, each show does this. Like, you ever watch some shows where the boss here go back to a job in disguise, mm -hmm. and they looking at, who the hell is you? They cursing him out and all that. And that's how yeah. the Lord felt, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he came back pretty much in disguise, in a sense, because he was lowly. Mm -hmm. He didn't come in his glory. So they didn't know that he was supposed to be, you know, uh, basically uh, 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 the high priests and rulers of Israel. So basically, they supposed to know prophecy. So the Lord would say, hey, destroy this temple, and I'll build it back up in three days. But that they went right over their heads, man. Oh, God. You know? So Isaiah 53, verse 3, it says, he is, the, he is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrow. So imagine, like the brother said, he was the undercover That's boss. It. So imagine, here it is, you the, you the one that created the earth and people treating you like you shit, man. Imagine that. You created the earth, but you're not getting your due respect. You walking around like, I created that. I created this. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have no air to breathe. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have no fish to go uh, in the sea and, and gather. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have no, no trees and no fruit on the earth to eat, man. But here it is, they didn't honor him, man. Because why he didn't come in his split. Uh, this is a quick precept. Uh, this is more so on the topic of women, but it's, it's still uh, relevant because it's in general. This is uh, Proverbs 31, verse 30. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. Mm. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Because why? Because them, them high priests... They was uh they was going off of their favor, man. Yep. 
they had a lot of people looking at them on, on a pedestal. You know what I'm saying? So what happens? They abused their authority, man. You know what I'm saying? They didn't they didn't um, reverence the Lord. And beauty is because they think about uh King David's son. Yep. You know what happened? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, he had the long hair, man. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to, he had, fa he's the perfect example, actually. Yeah. He had the favor and he had the uh, the beauty, man. That's yeah, all. And he was using it to his advantage to try to run his father out of the land. But the Lord did what, man? The Lord put him to death. See, you know what I'm saying? Because the Lord's not a respecter of persons like men are. Yeah, men are men pleasers. Yeah, we gotta go. Exactly. Yeah. This is James 2 and 1. My brethren. Have not the faith of our Lord Yahweh Shahabashiach, the glory, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come also a poor man in a foul raiment, and, and ye have respect to him that wear the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Sit thou there and sit under my footstool. Are ye not then partial in your judgment? And, and are become judges of evil thoughts. See, and that, that goes to show you, man, Jake has always went with what the eyes can see. You know what I'm saying? That's why he told Samuel, he was like, hey, he said, don't look on his stature. I didn't choose him. I see, he said, look, look for the man I'm looking for. Man. I sent you to this house. Because everybody makes it look appealing on the outside, but when you become a part of it, you see how much of a... Uh, you see how much of a... Uh, you know, a terror that their ministry is. Yep. You see, Saul. So. No, go ahead, bro. No, you got it. Now, if I can land back, y'all brothers. That's why the scripture says, beware for you entertain angels, man. You don't know who's an angel walking on earth, man. You got to you gotta, you gotta be careful on who you scoffing and mocking because guess what? If it's one of the men of the Lord, like like he was doing Elijah, man, hey, he, he can call for the Lord to, uh, 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 to punish you, man. And what happened? The angry she bears ate them little kids talking right. about all the O's out ball here, O's out ball here. So you gotta be careful who the hell you're talking about. Okay, so the matter of fact, man, a prime example of that is uh, Babylon the Great, man. That's what I'm about to say. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, whoa. That, that whore that sits upon many waters. John saw this beautiful, delicate woman, That's right. but she was filthy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, goes into Isaiah 47. He said, lift up the, the leg, make it bare. I'm from Shepherd. Well, she. Yeah, right. No, no, so you're right because in the revelation it says it's this golden cup that's decked with uh, ornaments. So we got it's a gauntlet. It's fucking 24 karat yellow gold. It got rubies and diamonds on it and all kind of tigers like lapis and zoom. You know how good lapis look with gold, you know. But you, you pick the cup up and you get a drink, like what the fuck is that? You know, like man, in the N-word, that shit is that shit is abominable, man. The dress was in there, man. Yep. That's that that's that old proverb, man, whatever glisten. Whatever's glistening ain't gold. Yeah. Or everything that's everything glistening ain't gold. Everything yeah. that's good ain't gold. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, diamonds on shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got some. Yeah, we coming about how you have wish I came. Exactly, man. Because that's what. Hey, get that. Uh, get that. Ecclesiastes one. Uh, the last chapter. Last verse. Ecclesiastes one and, and the last verse say. Uh, uh, one and twelve, I believe. Ecclesiastes one and twelve, man. The much, the more wisdom you get, the more grief you gonna have, man. That's right. I'm gonna start at seventeen. It's Ecclesiastes yeah. one and seventeen. I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. Yep. I perceive that this also is a vexation of spirits. For in much wisdom is much grief, yep. and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. Which is why you don't see brothers really trying to grab in this kingdom. Because this kingdom is going to be destroyed. Right. We're looking around, we see the goodly things that you know this kingdom has to offer, but we don't have that ambition. Because the world has ambition. They have ambition to succeed here and, and, and lead a mark here, you know what I'm saying, for their kids and so on and so on. We don't see this place going on many generations. For, you have to forbid this place going on many generations. We see the prophecies, man. We understand that the Lord is going to do away with this place, and we're praying for that, man. That's right. You know? Because ain't nothing getting better in this kingdom. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to get nothing out of it. Prime example, 5G came out, right? And when 5G first came out, it was telling you that all the birds were surrounded around the antennas and stuff, and they was getting, they was being killed, man. 5G was also another way that the uh, COVID-19 was running around killing people. People's immune system was weak, and the 5G was helping finishing them off, man. You know what I'm saying? So as more and more Esau growing his technology, man, he's destroying the earth. That's right. 
you know? Things are continually getting worse. You know, I seen this movie, uh, what was that, uh, The Guardian of the, uh, the Forest. You probably know what I'm talking about. It's a, it's a movie, it's a kid's movie, man. Oh, you talking about Spider-Man Chronicles? No, uh, no. it's another one. It's a, uh, 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 it's a Dr. Seuss, um, uh, movie. But anywho, man, uh, you know what I'm saying? Things became so futuristic in that tree. time, they didn't even have no real trees. They had they had like a, a plastic tree in the midst of them. I think it's Lorax. Yeah, the Lorax. Yeah, the Lorax. Yep, Khan. It was the Lorax, man. He he was he was mad at the dude that he was giving warning to. Like he was like, stop hurting the trees, man. You running the animals out of their place to live. The animals don't have a place to go. You know what I'm saying? And as they kept on progressing in the movie. Uh, uh, technology got so crazy that they didn't have real trees where they was living at, man. Yep. And, and this boy was on the quest to find out what happened to the trees. That's what's going on in America, man. That's what, if this place was to continue, you would have to ask yourself, what happened to the trees? They really trying to, uh, be like the Jets and shit, man. That's why through prophecy and through the Lord's mercy, this place shall be changed, man. Right? Because he cared for his people. He loved his people. He loved his nation. So he will not suffer us to be in this forever. You know? It's because of the mercy, man, that our Lord Yahweh shall die for us. That's you right. Know, so we can be changed and so we can have the kingdom of heaven forever. That's right. I got a little bit of a go back to the point of talking about our parents. Yeah, what's the beauty? Yeah. Mark Pichon, a little bit of a This is Matthew 23. This is my Lord. He said, Woe, he says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead man's bones and, and of all uncleanness. Yeah, because uh, wisdom has been without for so long. These men don't have no wisdom in them. They just born on the precepts of men. They they creating laws that has nothing to do with the will of heaven and father. They got that scepter. He said, he said they sit in the uh seat of Moses, man. You know what I'm saying? Because Moses in actuality was the first king of Israel. Yeah. But he said he they was like it into white white sepulchres. Basically they were walking coffins. Sepulchres. You know what I'm saying? They were they were walking big bigger like a damn hell walk. So that's why he, he, he likened it into like uh, uh, walking coffins, basically. And, and right what there. goes in the yeah. coffin. Yeah. But what goes in the coffin is a dead body. He right. said yeah. it's full of dead men's exactly. bones because right. they're dragging people into the, exactly. into the ways of death. Hey, and Ezekiel 3 and 17, but you know if you don't warn them yep. of their wicked ways, their blood is on your hands. That's right, right. yep. You know, so it all links up, like you know that they're filled with the men that they did not warn of the truth, right? And they was dragged on, yeah. basically. They had the sinews and everything, but the breath of life wasn't in it. Yeah, it was pretty so much they, without the, they wasn't breathing. Yeah. And, and, and notice what it said. It said, it says, which indeed appear beautiful outward. Right. So it was like beautiful coffins. That's what the Lord called them, basically. Beautiful coffins, man. Yeah, it is. They had nice apparel on, man. They had nice, you know, garments on, you know, jewelry, you know, looking good. But they would speak, the Lord could pay attention to being beautiful coffins. Basically, man, they was they was basically leaning on their own understanding of things, man, and accepting the fame of the world. You know what I'm saying? The things of the world. They wasn't doing the will of the Heavenly Father, and they was bad examples to the nation of Israel. They was being very uh, arrogant and snooty. You know what I'm saying? And they was uh, being judgmental. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't making a, a righteous judgment. They was doing all types of wickedness, man. You know, for our people, man, they they, they was setting a bad example. Because they follow after the traditions of men. Just like how these pastors today, these false prophets in these uh, holy houses, you know what I'm saying? What do they do? They set it a, ba a bad example for our people, man. That's why the women are out here like whores. You know what I'm saying? Walking around like whores, man. Because they not preaching this truth. They not out here preaching the true word of Yahweh Shem You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to quicken you. We're supposed to bring you to life. The Lord don't care about how good you look, nigga. 
You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be teaching the people the truth to lead them to salvation. Proof in the matter. John the Baptist, man, he didn't look good, man. He, he was out there preaching it, and, and, and he had what was clothing was uh, uh like camel, a camel's hair. camel's hair, man. He's probably he's probably looking rough, rough, bro. They out here rough and rugged, teaching the word, man. Hey, it don't matter how you look, as long as you bring forth truth, which is beautiful, in, in the eyes of the heavenly Father. That's what the Lord is looking at. That's the true beauty, man. Preaching the truth to your people, man, and warning them. You know what I'm saying for the for the uh, uh, the evil times that's coming. Said a great thing, looking beautiful in the eyes of the Lord. That's right. That's what's so important, yep. man. That's exactly you know, what's cool. Yep. Not, not looking beautiful in the eyes of men. To hell with that, man. To nuclear fire with that, man. That's right. You know, it's looking in a, it's looking beautiful in the eyes of the Lord. And what's important? Constantly repenting, fasting, making supplication to the Lord, man. That's what's important. That's right. Having that beautiful mindset, being thinking with the word. Yeah, that's right. Having that beautiful mindset. He said, even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. So you, you basically, you know, a bunch of uh, uh, hypocrites, man. You know, hey, the Lord don't care how good your garment look. He don't care that you got rhinestones on the, on your on your uh, trim. You know what I'm saying? He care about you keeping it real. And also being an example to the nation of Israel so they can keep the will of the heavenly father. That's what the Lord cares about, man. You doing what he told you to do. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being a wicked ass nigga, selfish, stealing the people money, man, and lying to them. Are you I see? You know what I'm saying? Doing it in the butt. I asked you PK, John the Baptist saying the man of the Lord, you bug that ass, you know what I'm saying, dudes, man, you better repent, man. But the Lord destroy you, man. The Lord, Yahweh Shai is nothing to play with, man. The Lord is coming, man, man, to take judgment on this wicked ass place, man, and wicked ass false prophets. Starting at the, the scriptures say that judgment should start at the house of Israel, man. Especially you men that know the truth. You do err, man, not knowing the scriptures, man. The Lord gonna destroy you, man, if right. you don't repent. You out here uh, teaching Jake how to be uh, off instead of teaching them how to truly repent because your God is your belly, trying to make money off, 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 off the truth, man. What did the Lord do, man? He turned up the, uh, uh, he flipped over the tables and the temples, man, and said, you have turned my father's house into a thin of deeds. And that's what you niggas has done, man. The same thing. You trying to get money and pussy. I said, I fear the Lord, man, and teach the people, and, 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 and to persuade men by fear. That's how you, you're supposed to be out here telling them about the end times, man. You're supposed to be telling them about the, the evil times that's supposed to be, the, the evil times is coming. So that they may repent. That's why the script, that's why Paul said we persuade men by fear. Because, it, 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 hey, it's, it, it's bad times coming. That's right. So like, yeah, I didn't mean to, you know, go into a rant like that. Uh, uh, this is verse 29. It says, woe until you scribes and you Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tomb of the prophets and garnish the subjects of the righteous. He says, and, and say, if, if we had been in the, in the days of our fathers, we would have not been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. And it's the same thing, man. That's why the Lord said, them that are not, that's not gathering, is scattering. And you doing the same damn thing, you sellouts. You took the Judas purse. And the Lord gonna destroy you, man, if you don't repent. Right. Let's lock it. Go ahead, bro. Come on. You got something? Hey, you still got that other Ecclesiastes 4? Could you start back at Isaiah 53? Yeah, it's 3. Uh, start at 3. That precept is, uh, you got that? Ecclesiastes 1. Read this first. It's, uh, it's in the Ecclesiastes 1. Uh, Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53 and 3, it says, He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him, 
he was despised and we esteemed him not. Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. For much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases with knowledge increases with sorrow. Exactly, man. Now, why is that? Because you're trying to be righteous in a wicked society. You're trying to do things right when everybody else around you is doing things wrong. You're continually, you're continually being stepped on, man, overlooked. When you're trying to do goodly things and give them, a, do them a favor, do them good tidings, man. Preach to them uh, gospel and good news. But then you're continually being stepped on and overlooked and undermined. Man. You're going to be rejected and, dis and despised, as you say. Exactly. Isaiah. We all, you're a we righteous all. man doing, uh, you're a righteous man in a wicked kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are going to hate you because their deeds are evil. That's right. That's, not, that's absolutely right, man. Preset. Because we're in the same, we're in the same state as the prophets of old, man. That's right. And Yahweh Shai, uh, you know, if Yahweh Shai did it first, then the same thing as us. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got a preset real quick, Bob Uh Salakia. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. It says, Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroys the heart. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, like what you were just saying, man. Because, man, you know, here it is. You know, we out here trying to tell you how to escape, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the, uh, the oppression. But you, you, you rather not hear it. You rather, you know, hear uh, good things, smooth things. This is why. And, and it basically makes you feel bad as hell, man. Because Jake was in that uh, 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 slave mentality uh, mindset, man. Stockholm Syndrome. And it's just basically accepting anything that the enemy is telling you. You know, this enemy tells you, you know, smooth things and good things, man, to cater to your, uh, to your uh, uh, emotions and your feelings. You know what I'm saying? This one But here it is. The men of the Lord out here telling you good words, man, and glad tidings. You know what I'm saying? Telling you who you are and telling you how to escape the destruction that's coming. Telling you the truth. And here it is. You can say it. Not to come off a certain way. Not to come off a certain way, but this is why some people are hated more than others. You know what I mean? Uh, this is why, you know, some some people and some groups are on everybody's list. You know what I'm saying? This is why GMS is the most hated Israelite uh, group out there. This is why, you know what I mean, we're on the uh, the terror uh, list. Yeah, right. I mean, the terror you know what, list. but all the Israelites are up on that list, though. Kind. You know what I'm saying? All, all the uh, Hebrew Israelites, they call it black Hebrew Israelites, which is a lie. But, you know, we all on that list. Hey, that's why you should be acting act, act, act the way you act, man. You, man. You're supposed to be representing the Lord properly, correctly, man. not like dumbass, simple niggas. Because, you know, you know man, a, lot of, a lot of ministries that preach the word, they aren't on that list. Mm -hmm. You know, is, is Catholicism on that list? No. Hey, but they kill more people than we did. Right? Then you know how many people died under the banner of Christianity in yep. the name of Christianity? Yep. But they're not on the list. Hypocrites, man. Yeah, this precept goes back to what we was pretty much allowed, um, we was going into now. It's Actually, first Corinthians. It's, it's like it. They should be on the terrorist list. Really, Christianity should be on number one on, number on, one. The, uh, on the spiritual. It, it, actually, Christianity is on the spiritual terrorist list. Terrorists make a terrorist yep. list. He never put himself on it. Yep. 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 <laughs> the Lord gonna destroy you, man. Because actually, a actuality, Christianity, Christianity is is a terrorist act against the nation of, of, of Israel. Man. Yep. Uh, this is uh, First Corinthians one and twenty seven. But Yahweh hath chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Mm. And Yahweh hath chosen the weak thing of this world to confound the things that are which are mighty, and the base things of the world and the things which are despised. Have yeah, how it chose to the things which are not to bring to not things that are hard. Right, because you, no know you know what, Salak, you real quick, Bob Kushai, that's because the Lord suffered the low. You know what I'm saying? The meek and the humble, man. You know what I'm saying? That's who the Lord is dealing with, man. The Lord is going to use the low and the meek, you know what I'm saying, to condemn this world, man. The ones that truly believe in him, man. 
You know what I'm saying? He's speaking in the word of truth and succeeding in the value, man. He's not going to pick some nigga because he's of a high stature, you know what I'm saying, and most respected. Lord don't care about that, man. He don't give a shit about them. He, he care about them, you know what I'm saying, that love him, man, and that's it. Simple as that. Them that's keeping the will, man, and doing it in truth and sincerity. Not, not, not you, 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 you base-ass niggas, man. Because the scriptures tell you, the Lord said, if you teach men, you know what I'm saying, to do, uh, 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 how it go? Uh, basically, you teach men to do the, the wrong way, you should be called the least in the kingdom. But them that teach the men to do the right, to do it the right way, gonna be called, uh, they're, they're gonna be the, uh, like the, uh, I think say the highest, it's another word for it, uh, the, the most, something like that. Greatest. Mm -hmm. the great, great. It's like it, it should be called the greatest, the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? And that's who the Lord is dealing with, those who's teaching men the correct way, not niggas that's doing it the wrong way, man. Lord don't give a shit about your status, man. Humble yourselves, man. The Lord will destroy you niggas, man. And the scripture says, he who exalt himself shall be a base. And he who shall be a base shall be exalted, man. We gotta play on our roles, man. You know what I'm saying? Live the role of the humble so you can be exalted. Did you look it's like the mother? Hey, what it is, man, you know what I'm saying? You sell out to this world, man, still. For for uh, money and pussy. That's what's gonna get you destroyed. Man. That's right. well, some more on this. this is verse 29. That no flesh should glory in his presence, but of him are ye and Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who of Yahweh is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glory of let him glory in the Lord. Yeah, you just said that like, 15 minutes ago. Okay, it ain't us, man. That's why we always give glory to how about Shimon Yahweh Shah. Amen. It's been men in, in, the, in, the, in the past, like the Chronicles and the Kings, the Lord smoked, man, because they didn't give glory to the Lord, man. You know, it was righteous kings that fucked up because they didn't go, go give glory to the Lord or wanted to do something that wasn't their office, man. So the Lord had to correct their ass. Righteous kings, you know. It's, it's important to give glory to Yahweh by Shimon Yahweh That's right. And know it's not of yourself, man. We are just instruments, man. We're just instruments to do his work. This bitch is fuck. Quick precinct here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is uh, Proverbs 4, 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Get, therefore, get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding. Get wisdom, and with all that getting, get understanding. Uh, this is uh, Psalms 111 and, and 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding how all they that do his commandments, uh, his praise, do it forever. So that's what you're supposed to look for. You're supposed to look for forward to wisdom. Not uh, forward to the trend or what what another man is doing. I was about to say, man, land back with the butt on, man. Wisdom teaches you how to be meek and humble, man. That's the beauty of wisdom, man. Wisdom doesn't wisdom pride pride doesn't come with wisdom, man. In fact, wisdom will leave your ass if you prideful, man. Cause you think you all that, man. The Lord gonna smash your ass in front of everybody, man. And that's why the Lord said, do not seek the preeminence in Syrac, you know what I'm saying? Don't seek the, the, the seat of the king, man. Society has it, so society has it all wrong from the, from the start, man. Hey, that's why, you see, that's and what, the, what the key ingredient with what brothers be lacking is having a fear of the Heavenly Father, man. Hey, that's why, that's why the scriptures in Paul would say, though I be absent from you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you supposed to still fear the Lord, man. The scriptures say, to, uh, what did he say? He said, uh, uh, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. See, but see, you gotta believe, you gotta be a believer to be able to even have a fear in Trinidad. That's the whole thing, man. If you ain't got the, if you ain't got the fear, you know what I'm saying, y'all about to show me shot on you, you, chances is you're probably not a believer. Because yeah. let's say you were in the world yep. and you had a bunch of friends, mm -hmm. and you know what I mean? Hey, you known them your whole life. You know what I'm saying? And, 
And uh, you know what I'm saying? You see them, as you grow up, you see them going down the wrong path. And and you're, you're a believer of the word, you know what I mean? You're increasing your knowledge. You're increasing your faith. You know what I'm saying? But you try to get them to go the way you, you want to go, but they don't want to go that way. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, you're going to have to choose choose the word over choosing uh, their their lifestyle, their way of life. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to get it for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because where they're headed to is destruction, you know what I'm saying? This is our Proverbs 1 and 7. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Hey, to, to acquire wisdom, you got to fear the Lord. Man. You know, you got to. It's a requirement. It's the beginning of wisdom. You can't, you can't be wise if you don't fear the Lord because you can't, you can't skip the first step. That's what people say. That's what the scriptures say when you uh, come in through. Uh, you uh, come in from unawares, man. How you how you come in? You ain't fear the Lord first. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You coming in, but you still doing things the Lord told you not to do. That means you don't fear. Him. You know what I'm saying? Then you don't even acknowledge it. Because sometimes the fear can come from you, but you ask for it back, man. and you repent, and then you fast, and then you pray, and ask the Lord to put the fear back on you. And he but you don't even do that. So what? He always leave the way out. See, that's exactly. He always leave the way out. Man. That's why he said, man. What if you enter the kingdom heaven? You gotta be born again. Which means all that you think that you Reset. That think that's right, throw that shit out the window and be retaught and meet and be in a, in a meek and lowly spirit and fear the Lord so you can be taught the right way, man. Re Reset the back of what you just said with the spirit. Right before you had said what you said, I had, had it in my hand. This is Matthews 18 and 3. He says, and I say verily, I suck it, and I said, verily, I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as a little child. Ye shall not inherit, so like a, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name, receiveth me. Because basically, you gotta, you gotta humble yourself down. You gotta be basically, because uh, 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 what, what a, a, little, a little child basically, knows nothing, you know what I'm saying? So they, 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 they in a humble, sta a humble state. So what do they do? They, they inquisitive, you know what I'm saying? So they ask questions, what's this? What do this do, you know what I'm saying? How you do this, how you do that? You know, that's how, the, that's how you gotta be, man. You can't come in here like you know everything, like you already ready, you know what I'm saying? Like you a high scholar, you don't know shit. You gotta humble yourself down, man, you know? Uh, Slocky, I got another preset. Your brothers ain't holding nothing. No, I got that. I, yeah. Go ahead, brother. I don't mean, you got a preset? I got a preset. I'm going to do the whole chapter. Oh, okay, Kai. I just got a quick, quick preset. It's locked in my bag. This is, uh... Oh, you got time. <laughs> you got this is, uh, John 3 and 3. Yahweh Shai answered and said... Matter of fact, I'm going to start at 1. This is John 3 and 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh Shai by night and said unto him, right by, we know that thou art a teacher come from Yahweh, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except Yahweh be with him. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Valley, valley, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the most high so you got to be born again basically you got to learn you know what i'm saying you know the things of this world man and be retaught by by the holy spirit you got to be retaught by the holy spirit man and learn unlearn the things of the world because the things of the world is uh is death and carnality but the things of the holy spirit is life eternal life eternal so you gotta uh, uh be willing to humble down like a little child to be retaught he said, uh, Shalakia. And Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? That was a very common question. 
You know, everybody knows the answer to that. Hell no, it makes no sense. Yeah, I'm sure answer very, very, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. So basically the Lord gotta, you know, bless you with the gift of the Holy Spirit, man. That is a gift, man, to be able to understand this truth. You know, here it is, you got a lot of uh, Israelites, you know what I'm saying, that's in the truth. I understand that they're Israelites. But, you know what I'm saying, the breath ain't all the way in them yet. You know, because they still, you know, of the world, man. They take this thing and, and, and uh, basically it's like a fad to them. You know, uh, it's just something to do, something, something cool to do. You know what I'm saying? Instead of uh, totally selling out to the Lord, you know, they don't understand. It's a lifestyle, not a hobby. That's right. It's beautiful, people, people take, because it's a difference, man. You got to look yep. at, at what's being, what's being, well, you know, look what you said. What, you, what, what was the last night you put that scripture? Or no, man, no man builds a town if you don't sit up and count the cost first? Yeah. I think I said that too fast. No, no man sit up and build a tower unless he sit and count the cost first. You gotta look and see how many that you ever see. You ever see in the hood where you got these fucking pile of bricks? Cause the motherfucker didn't count the cost. Or if they did hire somebody, they hired some niggas that knew how to lay bricks, but they ain't know how to they ain't know how to measure and they ain't know how to uh, count. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say they know how to count, but they didn't know what they were doing. They didn't know what they're getting themselves into. Come. Cause we had a we had a so called he wasn't no brick mason. He was just a nigga that knew how to lay bricks. And he laid he laid a brick from my mom's house, and we had like 150 bricks left. So she paid. 50 cent a piece for 150 bricks and, and waste the money. You know, she was pissed. Like, man, why did you tell me I needed this much if I didn't need this much? You know? Same thing, man. This is, this is a lifestyle. You have to commit. You know? This is not a hobby. This is not something you do when you feel like it. But something you should do to pass the time. The water. I, I really feel like That's the spirit that he did with that. This is, uh... This is, you went, I said it. This is, uh, John. Three and six. He said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So basically, hey, if you, you are the flesh, hey man, you are the world still. You know what I'm saying? And you gonna get destroyed, you know what I'm saying, with the rest of this world, man. But if you be born again, you become born in the spirit, the Holy Spirit, man. You start all over again like a newborn baby, man. And be retold, you know what I'm saying, by the Holy Spirit. The Lord is gonna feed you. You know what I'm saying? Good nourishment, good uh, uh, good gurgles, man. Uh, it's like you start off with a sincere milk first, and then you eat the good gurgles, and then you're gonna eventually graduate to the meats. But it's a process. You can't just jump the gun and just jump to the meat and try to gum down the meat, and you ain't got no teeth. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta follow the process. That basically you gotta be humble, yep. humble, humility, like a little child, man. You gotta go through the process. To learn. I have a two-year-old daughter, man. My, she stays, she stays with her mother. Yeah. And my, her mother tried to feed her steak. She tried to cube it up into little bitty pieces and feed it to my my, my two-year-old daughter. I mean, she got molars. She got molars growing in. But man, she threw the she she turned the plate upside down. <laughs> she didn't want. It. She like I ain't trying to. She got this. She and she had teeth, but she didn't feel like. Showing that shit, cause it, 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 it mean after a while I eat a steak, and if it's too big of a piece, my dogs get the cramping and hurting and shit, you know, cause I like my shit well done and crispy, you know. But she turned that shit upside down. Same with us, man. You go and eat steak, you, you might, you know, might not find what you're looking for. Well, you ain't gonna understand it, or it might, it might be still a little bit too rough for you. Or you might choke. Right? You, know, you might yeah. understand yep. it. Yep. And you're gonna be that seed that was uh. That fell by the wayside, man. You gonna you gonna you gonna have it for a good while, but you're not gonna have you're not gonna be embedded. You're not you're gonna have no roots, man. That's right. Get it? It's a little bit more. He said, "This verse seven. He says, marvel not that I say, it's like you marvel not that I said it to thee. Ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whence it cometh." And whether it goes, so it so is everyone that is born of the spirit. And that's basically how it is, man. The spirit, it, it, it just comes, man. You know what I'm saying? When you get of the spirit, man. The spirit don't suck what you will deal with you, man. You know what I'm saying? But if you are the wrong age, you're doing something. Shit is that, man. Some niggas out here, you know what I'm saying, be faking in front, man, because they know precepts. 
but they don't they don't live by the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, man. They like those uh, uh, wicked ass Pharisees and scribes, man. They their gods they have made their gods their belly. That's why the Lord said, uh, if your righteousness don't exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees and the scribes, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because what he said there for us, because those men were colonels. Yep. They, they was colonel, and them exactly. niggas weren't born again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what did he say? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know what I mean? The scriptures tell you yeah. those who preach the gospel must live the gospel also. Right? That's right. That's why our Lord said, do what they say, but not as they do. Right? You know? Yeah. You have to you have to follow the actions, follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, man, to show the Lord. That you with him, right? That's right. Because that's, that's right. what true religion is, man. Yep. Re the word religion means something that you're doing constantly, man. Controlling the man. You know what I'm saying? Let go. You gotta really go down. Repetition. Repetition. Because basically, what you what the Lord is training you to do is have discipline over your flesh. Okay. Basically, that's all it is, man. Learning how to mortify your member, you know what I'm saying, to prevail over your wicked flesh, because your flesh wanna do what it wants to do. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Lord said the flesh is weak, but the spirit is always with it. Hey man, it's a fight, man. Yep. Hey man, you in a fight, you in the biggest fight of your life. That's man. right. You know what I'm saying? And it's for your soul. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta prepare for that, man. Put on the gloves, you know what I'm saying? Put on everything you can to beat this, beat this opponent, man. That's Which right. is your soul. If I can learn back, man, that's why you ever heard the old saying, you are what you eat. Because you are, you eat. Yeah, we eat, we eat the spiritual food, man. Right. So you gotta be what you eat, man. That's why the Lord said, I am the bread of life. I'm the bread of life, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So if you eating the spiritual food, you're going to be doing the things that's required of you, man. That's right. Man. Simple as that. It man, is what spiritual, we spiritual, you said that because when you eat spiritual food, you nourish the faith that's in you because faith is likened into a seed. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're not nourishing that faith that the Lord is giving you. Now you're nourishing that gift or a seed that's going to wither away and die. Like a plant that's sitting in your house. You got that, that plant that's sitting in your house that you ain't fed in three weeks. You'll see them leaves start to wilt, wilt, wither away and wilt, you know? Or to remain dormant, you know? Yeah, not even moving at all. Not man. moving at all and not growing, not being exactly. living water. Hey, exactly. The scriptures do not remain stagnant, man. So if you're at this same level constantly, you're not dwelling within the spirit, man. You know, you got to constantly be moving up, constantly graduating with the spirit, man. That means that you're not mortifying your members. Basically, you're not, you're not um, you know, um, practicing discipline. You know, um, basically the scriptures say that, uh, what, what did the Lord say? Uh, I just read it last night in, uh, I think it's in the book of Luke, chapter 14, I uh, forget exactly the verse, but it said, you can forsake your mother, brother, and sister. You know, that's spiritual because he was talking about forsaking really mainly your flesh. You see what I'm saying? He said, you can't be one, um, you can't be one of my disciples, because basically the word discipline, disciples come from out of that word discipline. This real quick, land back. This is uh, wisdom of Solomon. One, I'm start at verse four. For into malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter nor dwell in the body that is subject to sin. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee the seat and remove from the thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide with unrighteousness coming in. This is wisdom of Solomon. One and four. For into malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. What does malicious mean? Malicious means with ill intent, malice. Mal, when you look up the word malicious and you look up the prefix, M-A-L. M-A-L, nine times out of 10, means something of ill will. Malfunction, malware, malice, yep, maliciousness, yep. you know? Malicious means with evil intent. Intent to do evil, man. Intent to kill, intent to steal. You know, attempt to murder. Attempt to murder, man. You know? Because it's righteous to kill, but it's, 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 it's unrighteous to murder. You know what I'm saying? For into the malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. Wisdom shall not enter. What is wisdom? Where's well, the beginning of wisdom, man? We just read it. It's the fear of the Lord, man. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You know? That's where it starts. It starts with fear of the Lord. Okay, Lord, you said don't do this. You said don't do that. I'm not going to do it because I fear you. I don't want to I don't want to see what's going to happen, you know, when you mad or when you upset. Because I told you I'm not going to do it, and I did it anyway. You know, maliciously, because you can you can tell the Lord you're not gonna do something, and you do it, but not maliciously. You did it off because uh, you're using the flesh, or you didn't mortify your members, or you made a mistake. You did you wasn't being aware, you wasn't being circumspect. Now that's a mistake. But a malicious soul saying, I know this, I know I said that, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just because I want to. That's malicious. Lord. 
That's what ill intent. Go ahead. Nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. That's right. Well, the Holy you're subject unto sin, that means you live unto sin. You're not subject to the spirit. I know the flesh is weak and the spirit is willing, but if you, what, what, what do you want to rule over you? Do you want the spirit to rule over you, or do you want the flesh to rule over you? All right. And these, and these things are desires, and the Lord is going to give you over into what you desire. Man. So you're going to be subject to sin, or you're going to be subject to the spirit. It's all about what you desire, because we are subject to the flesh. But we are of, we're in the flesh, but we are not of the flesh. Man. We are of the spirit. We want, we, we desire for the spirit to rule over us. Man. We desire for the, but we all in the flesh and we all fuck up every day. There is no man upon the earth that sins not. That's right. It's that for the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee to seek. Exactly. The Holy Spirit of discipline. What you desire. What do you want? It's a saying in the world, man. It says, oh, I ain't got time to do that. Man, you got time for what you want. You're going to make time for what you want, man. You know what you like. You're going to make time. You're going to make money. And you're going to make effort for what you're into. What you like. What's your desire. What's your hobby. What you like to do. Who do you like to be with? You're going to make time for that person. You're going to make time for that thing. You got to be sincere, man. Right? That spirit is not going to dwell in you if you're not sincere. Right? You're going to become a reprobate. A rejected mind. You know? You got to be sincere in this thing. Somebody get that real quick out of the book of... Uh... We said 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13, verse 5. And then there's another one. Uh, I believe it's 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Um, so like, let me see if I can find it. Go ahead, Brother Fish. They say, For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from the thoughts that are without understanding and without abide when unrighteousness cometh in. For wisdom is a loving spirit and will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. But Yahweh is a witness of his reign and a true Yoda of his heart and a hearer of his tongue. For the spirit of the Lord filleth the world and that which containeth all things hath knowledge of the voice. That's what I was saying last night. The entire earth is governed off the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah You can right. see it everywhere you look. You say, Lord, the, the, the whole world is governed off the spirit, man. You know? Wickedness and non-wickedness, man. He controls both sides. He's the creator of evil in the form of life. He, the Lord, do all of these things. Well, it's all about, it all goes back to the Lord. Okay. That's why it was it was a guy that camp before. Yeah. Precept period. This is, it, um, it, was a, it was a dude in the camp before, and, you know, he was, he, he wasn't being attentive, really. And every time a brother asked him a question, he would be like, and it was, it was really, it was being serious at the time, but after he left the camp, brother started to, like, you know, joke around with, like, yeah, how was I? And it was damn near old point because he was he, he like, hey brother, you know why this day the third happened? Uh, yeah, how was that? What? Every, 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 answer. every answer he gave was your how was that? And I'm not making this up, bro. I'm not. I swear, I promise you, I'm not making this up. But after he left, I got mad. I was like, bro, you know the funny thing about that? He was right. Yeah, <laughs> he was absolutely right. Everything is how was that? Yeah, how was that? It was like. God damn it. Yeah, you're right, but yeah, I want the specifics, motherfucker. Like, that shit was, it was the spirit because everything is Yahweh Shot, man. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is first, he is last, man. Everything is Yahweh Shot, man. Because why? He is the instrument of his father, man. It's just like how we are instruments, man. We are all instruments. We are all tools to do bidding. You know? This is uh, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 1. The preparations of the heart in, in man. And the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. That's right. right. Basically, the preparation of your mind. You know what I'm saying? That's why the scripture says that you are uh, always be waiting. You know what I'm saying? To give up the message. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta have, you gotta always have a preparation of the mind. Here, this preparation is to be prepared. It's the Lord that, yep. that, that controls your mind from the beginning. Yep. Oh, everything from what you say out your mind, your thoughts, and all of that, man, that's the purpose of the Lord. Yeah, it does. Everything that's basically the real So you say you gotta learn how to work by your work to be prepared because look, somebody who just walked up to you right now off the street and asked you a question, are you ready to answer? Or, you know what I'm saying, or you in your life, your day to day life, now here in the world. Are you ready? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Are you ready? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you gotta be ready, man. You gotta always be ready for everything, man. 
That's why the scriptures say that no man entangle himself with the affairs of this world, man. Because we ain't got no time for that. We got to be always on the defense and the offense. That's what, Paul, that's what Brother Paul said, uh, what? Walk you, uh, them circumspectly. Because Satan is going to be trying to attack you from every side, man. From every way. You got to make preparations for these things. The brother brought it up last night. The book of Sirach, chapter 2. You know what I'm saying? When you come into this truth, man, prepare your, uh, be prepared for temptation. Preparation. All the time. Be prepared, man. You got to be prepared, man, because Satan is on the attack, man. He's out here to sift you, man. It's weak. You know what I'm saying? So you got to get built up in the spirit, man. You just can't come in this thing all lackadaisical. Because if you come in this thing, man, without, you know what I'm saying, the spirit of the Lord and build up in the spirit, guess what's up? Guess what's going to happen, man? You're going to be a pushover. You're going to get pushed out into the world. That's why Paul said to be steadfast and unmovable. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be, you gotta get grounded in this thing, man. You gotta get rooted. What does scripture say? Give, uh, give diligence to make them firm and let you sure, man. That's right. I mean, you gotta digitally put in the work, man. That's On right. On your own time and, you know, when you're going into the lessons, you're going to come out of the campus. It's not good. It's not even just about work. I'm gonna say, look, man, it's not. It's more to that. It's about also having that relationship with Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai, man. That's who roots you. That's who waters you. The spirit of the Lord gonna water you. You know? Diligence. Uh, diligently. I thought he said digitally. Uh, I said, what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, brothers, lock in. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, bro. And hey, the Lord, man, you gotta be rooted and grounded, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you do not wanna be a pushover. Where did Tassiara go? To his car? Go get him and tell him to get back here. Fuck your shot. Go ahead, bro. I got uh, Mr. Solomon on the point. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It said, Love righteousness. He that be judged of the earth, think of the Lord with a good heart, and in the simplicity of your heart, seek him. Lord said, uh, love righteousness, man. He that be judged of the earth. But he's not speaking of all the other nations, man. He's speaking of the nation of Israel, man. Because we are supposed to be the judges of the earth. Even though we're in a low state right now, we are preparing ourselves to be the judges of the earth, man. The Lord said, love righteousness. You gotta love right. You gotta love the, the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bash Shah, man. He said, For he will be found of them that tempt him not and show himself unto such as do not distress him, man. So he's going to be found of them that's not going to tempt them, man. You know what I'm saying? Although we do fall short, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord's going to be looking for those who are uh, searching and seeking him uh, in sincerity, man. Because the Lord's not with the proud and, and uh, um, those who think they know it all or think they better than everybody, man. High-minded. You know, the high-minded, man. The Lord's not dealing with that. And that's what you see here in Mount Mount and Faith, man. A bunch of narcissists, high-minded, prideful-ass people. And that's why the Lord, that's one of the many reasons why the Lord got to destroy this place, man. Man, he wants the people that know that they are worthy for death and repentance, man. Right? That's what the Lord, Luke 13 and 3 says, uh, if you do not repent, you shall all likewise perish. So if you are not repenting out here, you must die. You know what I'm saying? So it's certain things you have to do, man. You have to repent. That's the key. That's the good news. Repentance is open unto us. If you're forget, if forgetting to repent, if you're not repenting daily, then you're susceptible to death. You know, the Lord is going to take the last out of them because you're not repenting. He wants the ones who are with the contrite mind repenting. You know, taking advantage of the grace that is bestowed upon us by, them, by our Lord Yahweh through our older brother Yahweh Shem. Right? You got to repent. If you, if you forget to repent, you will burn up. That's the good news. That's the simplicity of the truth. Repent or die. That's the milk, man. The yeah. milk, man. Hey, basically, it's like, the reason why it's called good news is because Israel are walking around here feeling forsaken. They don't know who they are. You know what I'm saying? They live in the ghettos and the slums. You know what I'm saying? They check and shame. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's a beautiful thing. That's good news, man. 
that is that is the good news, man. That is Glad Tidings. Because that's the only that's the only choices you got yeah. is to repent or die. And basically, and, and you know what? And that's the point, man. Yeah, you gotta repent. So, but the Lord wants you to do what first? What? Give warning. He said to go out into the highways and the byways, and uh, to uh, uh, to, to uh, 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 compel them to come in. You know what I'm saying? And tell them to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I got that Romans 10 and 15. Yeah. How shall they preach and set they be sent? As it's written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Because look, now there's hope. There's hope for our people, man. There's hope for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. There's hope, you know what I'm saying, to make it about of this, uh, this ghetto. To make it up out of the uh, the bondage, to make it up out of the poverty, you know what I'm saying? There's hope for us again. Yeah, that's what they can do for that. They made us, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they chose us, they chose us out of this world, man. That's right. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 61 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Look, see, look, to, to preach glad tidings to the meek. You know what I'm saying? For those who are walking around lowly. And the Lord ain't dealing with the proud. He resisted the proud, like the scriptures say, man. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 he loved the humble, man. He loved the, the, the ones that are sincere. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To bind up the brokenhearted, the ones that are here suffering, man. Just walking around here hopeless. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what, what's going to happen, man. Walking around here broken in the new day. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Right. Give them understanding, man. Give them freedom. You know, the voice and the truth is to set you free. You know what I'm saying? The truth is going to set you free from out of the bondage of this world, man. It's going to bring you into, uh, into life everlasting. That's the beautiful thing about it, man. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. See, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, man. Bound to what? You know what I'm saying? Bound to what? This flesh. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Bound to this this wicked, weak ass flesh. You know what I'm saying? And the things of this world, man. That's what they bound to. You know what I'm saying? But when you hit a truth, then hey, you can get released from those bonds. You know what I'm saying? Then you can learn how to overcome this flesh. That's why John 8 and 32 yep. says what? You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. That's the right. The truth shall make you free, man. Yep. Right? Because we are bound. That's right. We are bound in these chains of darkness and we are bound by the rudiments of this world, man. Right? You know, so we have to constantly repent and ask the Lord for forgiveness to release us from these chains of darkness, to release us from these prisons, man. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Psalms 34 and 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that have a broken heart. And Ooh. such as, and say to such as be of a contrite spirit. That's right? it. That's the spirit right there. See, and that word contrite, when you go into it, basically, it means to be remorseful. Right. You know what I'm saying? Basically, they sorry. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 they, and they remorseful they, uh, uh, that they've done the things that they've done. They're sorry for the things that they've done. That's what the Lord is dealing with, man. You know, those who have a contrite spirit, man, a contrite mind, mind man. Hey, and the Lord, He take you through all, He take you through shit for you to even get like that. That's right. The Lord will take you through hell. He'll break your ass. You know what I'm saying? And then make you acknowledge Him. Yeah. That's the beautiful thing about it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because at least you acknowledge in the Heavenly Father in it. Because you got some people that won't even acknowledge the Heavenly Father in it. They'll actually curse Him and then die. They'll curse Him. They'll curse Him. And be mad. It has no God. Because if there was a God, then this wouldn't happen and this wouldn't happen. But then you got you got people out here, man, that have that broken spirit to be like, so I'm sorry, Lord, forgive me. You know what I'm saying? Help me. Cry, man, on their dying bed with a cancer and a serious ailment. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord, he'll, he'll heal them. Hey, if I can real quick. Go ahead. The anime, it's the anime I watch, right? Mm -hmm. It's a cartoon I watch. 
And he said, uh, destruction and creation are two sides of the same coin. Yeah. You must destroy in order to create. And it was mighty because, I mean, how are you going to grow if you're not destroyed first? The same thing with your cycle and your mental. Uh, I keep saying, I can't stress this enough, man. The glory of the Lord is, is flourished throughout the entire earth, man. That's right. Only things that grow is things that's first destroyed. That's right. Only things that's created is things that's first destroyed. Like muscles or metal, you know, or, or pencils or, or houses. Or you have to destroy a tree. Reconstruction. We construct a seed in the ground. That seed has to be destroyed and molded uh, into something different. Balance, man. It's balance, bro. The whole entire earth is governed off the spirit of the Lord. Whether you whether you accept it or not, it's logic, man. You're doing his will. It's completely it's complete, it's complete logic. You can't escape logic. You're doing his will, man. Whether you're on the left hand side or the right, you're doing the wrong thing. You're doing the job and it's being done perfectly. Right. Yep. You know, it's not getting done half-ass everything, whether it's on the left hand side or the right, it's it's being done in perfect order. Right? Yep. Under the Lord's heart. Same thing with our spirit, man. You only, only way to grow is to be contrite, to be uh, remorseful, man. You gotta, you gotta, in, in order to the, uh, be grow and, and get strong, and strong in strength, you have to be destroyed first. You have That's to come right. from a, a back. You have to come from a. You have to have a background. And you gotta feel that sore, man. You gotta be sore. You gotta go through the days of being sore, your muscles being broken down, yep. you're tired and shit. Yep. But guess what? At the end, you gonna be built up strong, man. Yep. You gotta and go through it. It makes you, it lets you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. It lets you know, it reminds you that you're still alive, man. Mm -hmm. And this ain't living. Yep. Trust me, this ain't living, but going through that pain and that hurt is testing ground, yep. man. It's making you battle ready. Yeah, that's right. I got a quick precept to go back to what you was talking about. This is That's what uh, Yahweh Shah said out of his own mouth. This is John 12 and 23. Yahweh Shah answered him saying, The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except the corn of the wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth for long. But if it die, it bringeth much, it bringeth forth much fruit. So it's just like how Yahweh shot, you had to die to bring forth life. You know what I'm saying? That's what the brother was getting into, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the beauty of the Lord, right? Yeah, even when the body is the, uh, the, 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 that biodegrading in the, in the ground, man, it's giving nourishment to the plants. That's right. Into the worms. Into the worms. You consumed all of your entire life. Now it's time for you to give back, right? Right yeah. to the earth on the side. Your spirit will go to the Father. Your earthly vessel shall be decomposed, shall be uh, given as food to the critters, man. That's right. You know? and, um, like even even um, animals, man. A cow, he's born, he eats the grass, yeah. shits the grass out, and it refurbishes the grass. And then the grass grows again. And the process and the cycle continues. Because exactly. energy recycles. That's right. Energy is neither created nor destroyed, no. but it was, always, it was always there. He created from the foundations of the earth, man. Neither created nor destroyed, but it is transferred. Even yeah. Esau know that. It's yeah. basic. It's basic and in science, science, yeah. yeah. And in science, that's the basic thing. Esau take. Esau, energy is not destroyed. It's transferred. And they get it all from the scriptures, man. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. 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 He said, let that be light. It wasn't the sun. The sun wasn't created yet. Yeah. The, the two greater lights, the greater light, the lesser light, that wasn't created. Yeah. So, you know, that, that light is talking about what happened. Everything that the world uses. Only the Lord can create energy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Shit is mighty, bro. Oh, that's mighty. And only the Lord can destroy it, man. You know? That's why Esau shall be wiped out. <laughs> there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, man. So that energy, the Lord knows what he's going to do with it. But they're not, they not going to be on his own. They're probably going to return to him. They're going to return to him. Right. Yep, yeah. exactly. All sorrows that pass return into the heavenly father. So basically, all that energy that, that he sent out for his wrath is going to return unto him. And he ain't going to have no reason to be angry anymore because we're going to have the law, statutes, and commandments stitched into our hearts. There ain't going to be no job for the wicked no more. Right? Huh? The wicked and wrong shall be put out. Unless, unless, you know, you know, the servants, you know what I'm saying, how they ass go off. Let's go. Let's pick back up. We left off his uh, Isaiah 53 verse three. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, 
and we hid as it were our faces from him. Hey, you see, like he said, acquainted with grief. That's that, that sounds like depression, don't it? That's a company. Misery loves company. Right, he is a co hey, that's why the scripture say those that are uh, weary, rest with us. Yeah. Man. Hey, you the know? Lord walked away. He was grieved, man. You know what I'm saying? He drank wine, man. He was seeing the shit that happened to his people, man. Hey, uh, being acquainted with grief, that's depression, man. That's right. You know? Hey, also, man, King David, he was a, he was like that, man. When King David fled, yeah. everybody that was in distress, they had yeah. debt. They all fled for, to him, man. Yeah. And he became lords and king over all of them, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Right. Like, bro, right. I actually, I ain't gonna lie. I actually counted all the numbers of the people that was with him. It was like 600,000. Bro, it was, that's a lot of people, yeah. bro. That's a lot of people. A lot of kindred spirits, man. That yeah. was with him. That was, that was with him from the beginning. Right. It said, uh, exactly. That's the spirit. I actually see Shemar. I see my name in amongst those people. Bro, it was mighty. It was a Benjamite. <laughs> but I ain't say this. I'm just saying it was mighty. Hey, who knows, man? Who knows? Nobody. Hey, that's but the beautiful that's thing. That's the gospel, man. That's, that's the good news. Right. That's the good news. That's yeah. the good news, man, because we are depressed, man. Yeah. Like you said earlier, as a man walking in, you felt like, nah, it's more to this. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It is more to life. You gotta be. And it's more to that life is the fact that we're not living our life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You think about it. Jake worked to be old to get them pensions and them uh, 401k oh, yeah. plans. Right. Retirement. They be old as hell by the time they get the riches they need to, they, to enjoy. Like, now they now they looking like, man, they, they 50, 60 something years, 70 years old. And a Camaro. Yep. Drop the drop top trying to still go to the club. You ain't got the reflexes to control them. <laughs> the wheel to take, take your ass. Take the steroids. Yep. And, uh, and Viagra. Uh, Viagra. 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 God. Like, hey, being sugar daddies. <laughs> That's when they got their uh, consolation when they got home. Yeah, exactly. That's the east side. That's good. That's good because you're supposed to be able to enjoy your growth and your strength. Yeah. In your youth, man. You know? And that's a, in the kingdom, we will be in our youth, man. Not old Forever. gray hairs, man. You know, old gray hairs wearing down our knees, hurting and shit, cause walking on concrete going to work. We will be in that. Hey, the kingdom of heaven, you will be youthful, man. You know? Forever. Forever, man. Forever. Forever. You're not gonna ever age, man. <laughs> you might be able to put on an older look, like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Look like looking like hand off the ground mm -hmm. again. I can't shit. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> beard, beard down. <laughs> Braided? No, yeah. come on, man. Braided you gonna be looking at your house shot like, I like that gray on. Yeah, but with gold, yeah. with, with gold. That gray gonna be in your head. Yeah. With gold, uh, oh, what you we call that glitter and, uh, what you call the glitter? With oh, gold, we have, uh, real glitters in your head. Like the Vikings, bro. The Vikings had gold in there. Yeah, yeah. They had a ring oh, had up and shit. Yeah, bro. yeah. Like yeah. Thor had this shit braided, bro. We don't have my shit braided, bro. Like the green guy. Don't be like that green guy, elder guys, bro. Elder guys. to the dance of our youth, man. Yes, bro. You know? Thriving and, and, and uh, vigorous, man. You know, right. but we gotta go through this this oh, pain oh, and tribulation and turmoil on this side right now. Go through this light affliction. Therefore, in the kingdom, you have a hundredfold, man. Go through this light affliction, y'all. That's right. And it says, um, I, uh, so Isaiah 53, verse four. Yep. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Back at three. And he <clears throat> and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Everybody look at his even though he upset, he angry as hell, man. But his hand is still stretched forth like bring your ass on. That's, that's literally looks like him to talk to our kids. Man. Your kid lagging behind. Like, hurry your ass up. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't want to leave your child. You're like, hey, get up here. Be in front of me. Cause what? We in a world where people to snatch your child up, man. That's how you know we're not saved. You know what I'm saying? We still in a in a place of peril, man. Yep. People can snatch your kid up, snatch you up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Put you on an auction block. Oh, yeah, this right. place yeah, is wicked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, you yeah. snatched up grown men. I'm talking about your kid yeah, mother's souls. You know, have to be in the Middle East somewhere, yeah. working for Hobby B. Your social media. Right? Yeah. And they, but you and they, people will ask you, so like <laughs> if people will ask you, you know what I mean? Why are you not happy? Why are you not smiling? Yeah. Right. Fuck up my spelling for I mean, You nigga, hey, you why I'm not smiling. <laughs> yeah, show your pressure making a wise man, a wise woman man. You out here smiling here to here, you're dumb, man. You're an idiot. You know? Ishmael still snatching people up to this day. That's right. Ishmael yeah. still, the Arabian slave trade is still going on to this day. Yeah. They, out there, they out there in, uh, in, 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 in the land of Israel. 
they do. Oh, yeah, they, they, yeah, Palestine is a huge Palestine. Palestine. Yeah. They're taking, they taking all that, they, they taking them and shipping them off still yeah, to yeah, this man. day. Yep. So on them boat boats. I seen that, man. It's still, yeah, slave, it's still yeah. slavery going on right now. Yeah. Yeah. Still. The people being put in cages. Yeah. Just like Esau, Esau, that's what he called it, man. Yep. Yeah. Gonna put you in a concentration camp, man. That's right. That's yeah. what he, the practice is what he's doing in Issachar, man. It's yeah. got, they got their green cards here, they got it's got coming here and they separate the children from the man. Like, how the fuck you do that? And then they mocking them, bro. They got their some liminal floor like they burritos or something, bro. Yeah, you know what bro. Saying? Some of those thermal, thermal blankets. Yeah, man. but they think about actual blankets. Sorry, that damn it. Shit. Exactly. It's blankets out here. What you Th thermal blanket. This thin ass shit. Oh, your, your heat reflects back to you. No, man. Get the fuck out of here. Like a burrito. Like, like a burrito. They like foil, bro. Mocking them, bro. It's so uh, wicked, man. Just like when they slaughtered the Indians and then make Cleveland Indians team and watch them red skin. These people are wicked, man. Yep. I can see them saying that. Look at that burrito. Yeah. Guards and shit, yep. But that's why the Lord is going to stand. Uh, the Lord is going to transfer all that shit back from their heads, yep. man. Like the Arabians, like the brother just said. And we going to, we going to, they, they merchants of people. They gonna be merchants. That's right. They gonna be they gonna be merch merchandise. That's right. Just talk about uh, those that's that's uh, prisoners. They, and their houses haven't been opened, man. We still prisoners. Their houses haven't opened up to us. You know? I can say, bro, you know how spiritual that is. It's like Joseph, man. You know, his brother sold him to the Arabs, and the Arabs sold him to Egypt, man. Yeah. Those are the Egyptians, man. They said the same thing. Who, who, who gave us into the hands of Esau, man? Those funky ass Arabs, man. That's why they go into captivity too. Right along with the Africans, man. We're gonna make them Ishmael and uh, uh, Ham fight. Gladiators. Yeah. Hey, tell you the scriptures tell you that the Lord has made it, made this place into a golden cup too as yeah. well. And it's going into also everything that comes with it. The splendor of it, the fact that they got the children of Israel as their jewels, yeah. as they as they workers, man. They partaking in us in slavery. They they got they got everything, man. Right? Uh -huh. Uh, back at uh, Isaiah 53 and 4 says, Surely he hath borne our griefs. He he carried our sorrows. And that word born means to carry, man. He has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of Yahweh, and afflicted. Yeah, they say the truth is Barabbas. Barabbas, Barabbas. Give it to us, Barabbas. Barabbas was a murderer. I just found that out recently that it was a it was, that was actually a custom, and I didn't know that it was a custom to if you had two prisoners, the people chose to let one go yeah. and smite the, and kill the other by, by way of crucifixion. And they said, okay, if you want to kill him, who do you want to let go? He said, give us Barabbas. They chose a, a wicked, you know, a wicked man. I don't even know whether they did a video on Barabbas, man. They did some research on Barabbas. Man. He was the wickedest nigga in, in the city, man. Is there a lot? Huh. And that goes to show you the scripture says uh righteous will if not righteous judgment will if not forth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what the Lord came back to he was on dry man, dry bones. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have it tells you that in Revelation, what's that the eleventh chapter? You know, talk about the two prophets, man, the dad. You know what I'm saying? The Lord brought them back, man, and, 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 and started to establish his role. Everybody started to come in fear. You know what I'm Judgment was going to rain. I got a great soap on that verse. Yeah, yeah. She probably got a man, she's old. But, I got a great soap on that verse. This is First Peter chapter 2, and I'm going to start at verse 24. It says, Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, shall live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Yep. Right? Yeah, through him was made perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, through his stripes, through his affliction, we were made whole in Yahweh's eyes, man. Right? You know what I'm saying? And he has covered our iniquities with his blood. But that all means you're supposed to sin willfully, man. Yeah, like Hebrews 10 and 26 say, man. Right? Because if you sin willfully, it's like our Lord didn't even die for you, man. Right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to take advantage of this blood that was sacrificed for you. Grace. You know, this grace, man, it's covered. Yeah, your sins, what you what you did in the past, what you do in the future, and what you're doing now has been covered by Yahweh Shah. But that all means you can sin willfully, man. But the Lord ain't, he ain't died for you to be a fag. Exactly, man. man. Or, um, or, um, adulterer, adulterer or a yeah, murderer, liar. or a liar, murder, yeah. or covetous, man. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't die for us to, the, 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 that's what they teach in the Christian church. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the Lord died, so I'm free to do anything right. I want. Right. Hell no, man. Hell no. Man. He died for you to be different than every other nation. He but died for you to be the greatest people on the face of the earth, man. But in scripture, they said they find him afresh. Revelation. 
quick precept. This is a Sirach 13, 20. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, right. neither hath he given any man license to sin. Precept. Back, back you up real quick. This is uh, Colossians, verse chapter 2, uh, verse, verse, uh, I'm starting at 11. Verse 2 verse, verse 13 is the point. Um, verse 13 and 14. Colossians 2 and thir 13. And you being dead in your sin, in your sins, and the uncircumcision of your flesh, have he quickened together with him. Yeah. See? Have he made alive? Yeah. You know? It says. Right, he already made it right. God. I say, yeah, we're Christians, we're It's a lot. When Christians say that, they think they're saying that for everybody. Oh, that's right. Their sins has been paid for. That's the only one that only people that did. He did. He did save everybody else. He said, "Okay, I know they're gonna be living in this wicked ass world, and they might even do some things that's uncomfortable. But I'm gonna forgive them right now." He already seen Peter going off. That's a prime example. He seen Peter going off. He said, "You shall deny me for the cock crow, uh, crow thrice." You know what I'm saying? And you gotta think, he said, yeah, I wish I said it in Peter's time. He said, if a man deny me before a man, then I shall deny him before my father. But Peter had the G-Pass. Peter got the G-Pass. He said, Peter, even though you're gonna deny me, I'm still gonna, you know what I'm saying, forgive you. Who can't charge anything to God's elect? He, everybody can't, exactly. Uh, yeah. exactly. I got a precept just to back this brother up. Uh, this is, huh? Okay. Uh, it says, uh, yeah, um, quicken, to, quicken, quicken together with him, having forgiven you all trans trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of the ordinance that were against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. Which, but he said, I pray not for them. He said, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. Yeah. So he was already praying for the elect from the beginning. But see, the elect, what they're going to do, they're going to rehearse the righteous acts, man. That's right. They're going to they gonna try to the best of their ability not to the not to offend the Heavenly Father and His Son. That's, right. That's the point. It says what? It says, blotting out the handwriting of the ordinances that was a, that was against us. So what we're was not under the law anymore. Exactly. Because the law, if we under the law, we'd all be destroyed. Right. Yeah. There yeah. shall be no flesh to save. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But we are under grace. But under grace, what? You're practicing the law, man. Yep. We establish it. Yeah, we exactly. live in house to house. We got mixed fabric on. Hey, man, we take you to land salad. We, don't, we, we, use, we use fucking shampoo and soaps that they, they put pork in and yeah. listed in us. You know, we going off every day because we are in the flesh, man. The, the handwritings of the origins is against us because we can't keep them of our, of our leisure. We have to go to work on the Shabbat. We have to kindle fires on the Shabbat, man. Now, we can't stop from having sex on the Shabbat and doing up our pleasures, but we can't keep it fully, you know? Like these things is saved from us, man. He saved us from these. These are the things that he saved us from, man. And then we have to uh, take in consideration that he saved us from, so now we have to do more. You know, we want to do more. And the fact that we want to do more and we, th we have camaraderie and we, and we go amongst other brothers and we, and we break bread we, in, our, in the midst of our own company, in the midst of our own company, all right, when we see others, we, we preach the gospel and tend to others. Like, okay, you know, this, you know, you're this way, this, that, and the third. This is all goes hand in hand with uh, the blotting of the handwriting and orders. And he took them out of the way for us. Yeah, got, got uh, this is Acts yeah. chapter 5, and I'm going to start at verse 30. It yeah. says, The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Verse 31, Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. And forgiveness of sin. And it said a tree, specifically a tree. It said specifically a tree because cursed be the man that hangs on the tree. tree. Exactly. You go to Hebrews 6 and 6. Let's go on. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 6. And verse 6, it says, If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, Seeing they crucified to, <clears throat> seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh, and put him to an open shame. Hey, they, they not, they not uh, sincere. They steady going off. So what they doing is they crucifying the Lord, but they also crucifying themselves. Too. 
They put themselves on that tree just like uh, Jews. That's true. Like how they, how they, they deprive the Lord of all the things that he's uh, right that he uh, rightfully owns. He owns the name. Everybody deserves his name. Everybody deserves a name. We all have names. He took away his name. He took away his image the way he looks like. He took away the pictures of, of how we how we know, like different depictions that we know. Uh, the hair like wool. It was white. The red eyes. All right, the dark skin. Took that all away from him. His name. Took that away from him. His true story. What he what he taught. This is how you crucify him afresh, man. You know, you don't teach, you don't teach nowhere near correct doctrine. Totally contrary. I got a brief for you. This is uh, Romans chapter 7. I'm going to start at uh, 5. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. But now we are delivered from the law, that being dead, we're in, we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit, and not in oldness of the letter. So uh, it says, uh, verse 7. Well, wait, that newness of spirit, that newness, of, that newness of spirit is being a new creature, man. For all things that come and serve you, how about Shemi Shah, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. That's being a new babe, that's being that new person. That being that new person in that same flesh, you know. You are you are a brand new person, man. What is the cause of a man's face to shine? What you say? Because you're changing your mind, man. Yeah. Right, That's this is how you become new. You change, you renew your mind, man. I got uh, a precept. Hey, I used to, I used to, I used to work with this guy, and a dude came in. He was like, man, that dude, you know, he he wasn't the same dude when I knew him. He a different guy. I said, yeah, because he ain't the same dude. You may look at him and say, oh yeah, I know that guy, but he, even his works, they, they are not the works that you know. It's because that old mentality is being refreshed, being being cleansed, and being new, being cleansed. That's what I'm gonna say. Good power. Although we once knew how to walk in the world, we we knew we, we forgot how to uh walk in the world, man. Because the Lord has given us a new mind, man. We can't think the same that we used to think, and we're trying to serve the Lord. Man. You gotta get that dirty mentality out of there. God no. We got a precept here. This is Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making it wise and simple. This is Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making it wise and simple. Converting the soul. The law of the Lord is perfect, man. So if we was to follow it uh, by the teeth, we would never die. That's how raw the, the law is, man. But because we in these flesh, you know what I'm saying? We subject to sin. If you sin, y'all perish, man. You know what the scripture saying? You sin, y'all perish. Precept 14 says. Oh, you got more? Let me ask more. Let's Verse 80 says, The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Right? So it's rejoicing the mind. When you, when you come into this thing, your mind is being renewed. Right? And, it, and you start to rejoice. In these laws, the statutes, the commandments, to the best of your ability, you start rejoicing in the faith and this uh, this wisdom that the Lord bestowed upon you. Right? What you know it what said to the yeah. line, to the testimony. Yeah. Yeah. If they speak not according to this word, yeah. there is no light in them. Exactly. So if we speak according to the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, there's a good chance that you might be of the elect because exactly. you got light that shine within you. Man. That's right. Man. But a lot of people don't have that light, man. Yep. Then you got people like the elders was going to earlier. They they some wicked ass shepherds, man. They, they, they feed it for their belly and for their, uh, they go into their belly, man. They hire, is that thing? But the scriptures tell you about the hirelings. Yep. When, when, uh, when the wolf coming, you know what I'm saying? They flee. You know what I'm saying? They flee to <laughs> save their own lives. <laughs> when you think about King David, what did he do? He stayed the lion and the bear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's symbolic to you how it's shot. Any type of danger to come your way. He gonna be right there, like get your ass on. That's right. And the elder gave a testimony about that last night. You know what I'm saying? He said he was walking to the gas station, and he seen some dread-headed ass niggas, and he knew that them niggas meant meant them harm, man. Yep. But he said, but the spirit came upon him, like don't worry about it. I got you. So he was able to walk through the midst of that. Though we walk in the valley of the shadow of death, man, we should have no kind. So basically, we we like we understand that. Our lives can be taken at any moment here, man. 
But through the grace and the power of Yahweh, it keeps us alive. It keeps us alive. I got a precept for you here. This is Sirach, chapter 33, and verse 1. It says, There shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord, but in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. Right? So you have to have faith and believe that you will be delivered by the Lord, man. Right? You can't be in here and without the faith, you know what I'm saying, believing that you're not a man of the Lord and this and that. Man, you got to believe this thing, man. If you're in here doing the work, man, believe it, man. Have faith, you know what I'm saying, that you're, that you're making your calling and your election sure. You know, don't let Hashatan doubt, uh, send doubts in your mind what you're going to do. But it's your job to uh, deny those thoughts, man, and to stay on the path, you know. Because the Lord said, there shall no evil happen unto them that fear the Lord. If you continue to fear the Lord, you have much wisdom. You have much wisdom or more wisdom than the one who transgressed the Lord. You know the wisdom and transgressed the laws of the Lord, man, you know. And what's that, Sirach 19, if I may get it? This is Sirach chapter 19 and verse 24. It says, he that hath small understanding and feareth God is better than one that hath much wisdom and transgresseth the law of the Most High, man. Right? So it's this fear, man. Having a fear and believing that Yahweh exists. You understand? And fear that he will put your ass to death if you constantly go off. That's what's going to change you, man. You know? It's like, it's, like a long yeah. it's like Abraham, man. Abraham wasn't saved by his what, what he by keeping the law. He was saved by what? Faith, man. Right? That was saved Abraham. That was saved uh, Noah. And so you read that in Hebrews 11. Let me get that real quick. So they did go to work though, because they heard by faith that the Lord told them to do something. So then what did they do? They went to work. You know, they went to uh, uh, Isaac. What sacrifice? Uh, uh, so yeah, Isaac sacrificing the son. You know what I'm saying? Moses building the ark. They heard by faith that the Lord gave them that message, so they went to work man, with their hands. You know what I'm saying? They do it, man. Get this real quick. It's Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders attain a good report. Yes, right. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yahweh, so that things which are seen were not made of things which were built. By faith, Abel offered unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he attained witness that he was righteous. Yahweh testified of his gifts, and by it being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because Yahweh has translated him for before his translation. He had this testimony that pleased Yahweh, man. And we, 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 like, we in the mind frame of Enoch, man. And everybody knows, you know what I mean? No man has seen the face of the Heavenly Father, man. You know? So it said, it said that the, the things uh, that, that which do appear were not made by the things which you which uh do appear right things that you can see right the most high made this stuff the most high created the whole universe and that enoch man that's a prelude to what was, was going to happen to you now we're going to be translated what paul said it should be changed into another eye right? so we're doing this work through faith, man. It was this this faith will keep us fighting, man, in this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? He framed the whole world, man. Tom. Could you read it over? <laughs> Let me get that room when we started. Worlds. Through faith, this is Hebrews 11 and 3. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yahweh, so that the things which I see were not made of things which do appear. See, that's the evidence. That's the evidence right there, man. Yep. You can't say that it was just made. We, we just exist and we're here on earth you know what i'm saying you can't say that because everything points to that the most high created uh everything it's like read that again Bubba Kishon. it said through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of yahweh they were framed by the word of yahweh they were framed framed by yahweh shot man God. you understand who is that word john 1 and 14. God. the word was made flesh so Yahweh bestowed it upon Yahweh to make everything, man. You know? Because through Yahweh was the first spirit ever created. You know? So when we read that with understanding, we know through Yahweh, he created everything, man. Read that again, Baba Kasha. It said, through faith we understand that the world was framed by the word of Yahweh, so that the things which I see were made not the things which we were made. By faith, offer by faith, Abel offered unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, 
by which he attained witness that he was righteous. Yahweh testified of his gift, and by it he then dead yet speak with his name. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because Yahweh had translated him. For before his, his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased Yahweh. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. But he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. And you gotta believe that he is. So you gotta call on the name, the true name. Uh -huh. His name means he is or he exists. So you out here calling on a different name, it shows you don't have no faith, man. Uh -huh. It shows that you don't have faith in the correct power. You know, you gotta have faith in the correct God in order for you to get power from that correct God. You know, you gotta, you gotta call on that true name, man. You know, you gotta know that He is in order to be blessed by Him. So call on the name. Man. Stop changing. Stop, stop doing that, that, that bullshit out there. Man. Stop, stop lying. It's call on the name of the Lord, man. You know, that's it. It said, by faith, Noah, being warned of Yahweh, of the things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared the ark to the saving of his house, by which he had condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which is by faith. See, he was moved with fear. See, by his fear and his faith in the Lord, he was moved to go to work. He was moved to build that ark, man. You know what I'm saying? Through his faith. See, it shows you that you don't separate them, man. You know, it's, it's like uh, oxygen to the lungs. It goes hand in hand. We out here doing this work because we have faith, man. You know? He didn't even know where rain was. Yeah. That's right. But he knew that if he, he didn't listen, he, he would perish. Exactly. Uh, it said, by faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have to receive for inheritance, Obey, and he went out not knowing whither he went. Ooh. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in the tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs of him, with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city with which had foundations, with builder and maker is Yahweh. See, a lot of you people, y'all ain't gonna have no excuse because y'all know what fire is, y'all know what it does, y'all know all of that. Noah, he didn't know what it what, what, what rain was. And he he built the ark, you guys say. So what's your excuse? Yeah. Yep. So that's all he got is excuses, man. But Lord ain't hearing none of that. He gonna have, he gonna put it before their eyes when they seen the prophets. That's right. He gonna put it before their eyes and in remembrance. Lay it to the world. That's it. That's Cause y'all people without faith, man. Yep. That's what you lack. Um, and to us, he said, don't let their incredulity trouble you, man. You know what I'm saying? They shall die in their unfaithfulness. You know? We, we got to hold fast in our belief, man. You got a lot of people out here faithless. They don't give a damn about the Lord. They don't give a damn about prophecies. None of that, man. They care about their own bellies, but their incredulity shall not trouble us, man. You know? I got some. This is, uh, Romans chapter 1, verse 18. It says, for the wrath of Yahweh is revealed unto the... Revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of Yahweh is manifest, uh, manifest in them, for Yahweh have shown it unto them. For the invisible things of Him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are under, that are made, even His eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse. See, they're gonna be without excuse because because we're all talking about faith. These people, they see, they see the thing. They know, bro, these people know it's a God. They talking about these scientists, these Edomite scholars, all right, these scientists, these other nations and they scholars, all right, down to the average Joe. Talking about they atheists. No, they ain't atheists because they, they talking about the universe and this, that, and the third. They know it's a God, man. They just being rebellious and they want to believe this stuff so they keep telling themselves so they can believe it. Well, I can't see him. That, uh, so if I can't see him, there's no God. Exactly. Like, well, well, exactly. Nigga, you can't see when. Exactly. I was what just going to say look? photosynthesis, man. You, you photosynthesis. can't see people on the other side of the world, but that doesn't mean they ain't there. You can't see body love. This is a good. You can't see chemistry. You can't see those elements reacting to, to make this and make that. But you see the evidence by, by, by uh, uh, the reaction. I was just going to go into photosynthesis. What do photosynthesis? What is photosynthesis? It's the evolution of a flower, the growth of the flower. You got water that, that helps it grow, and oxygen as well. And it, it brings out uh, uh, sorry, it brings out uh, oxygen, oh, yeah. and it inhales carbon dioxide. 
but everything has a chain. Like we breathe out carbon dioxide, but we inhale oxygen, man. So we feed the flowers, and the flowers and the trees feed us. You know what I'm saying? Right. Sure. There's a God. Yeah. By yeah. Everything work hand to hand. Man. It's clearly seen to those who who can see it. Who exactly. The Lord wipe the eyes, wipe all of that corn out out. your eyes. Right. Yeah, you eyes out. It's clearly seen, but to the ones who the Lord put in darkness, man, you still broke them, man. You still wondering if there is a God. You still calling yourself African American. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Puerto Rican and all this, man, you, you trusting the nations that cannot save you, but you're not clearly seeing the prophecies and the miracles of the Lord that's being bestowed upon you, being uh, uh, bestowed upon you every single day, man. Every time you walk outside, you get to see the miracles, but you're denying it. Yep. Uh, instead, instead, you take it upon yourself to worship uh, worship the creations rather than worship the Most High. Exactly. But it goes right into this. They worship the creations that were made by the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hey, get a uh, can you grab wisdom of Solomon for me? Okay. Wisdom of Solomon. I'm gonna get it for you right now. Okay. It's like 17. Grab. Therefore my people shall know my name, therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doeth speak. Behold, it is I. Right? So you gotta know that the Lord is he, he exists, and we got the name of the Lord right now, right? You know what I'm saying? We got the name of the Lord, you gotta call on. You know, it's the Lord that gave us an ear and a mind to hear in the land of our captivity, man. You know? us, us standing out here teaching his word is proof that he, he exists, man. Yeah. You know, you could ask it 10 years ago, ask brothers, man, you know, you would have told brothers then, like, man, you know, one day you're going to be on the corner teaching the word. Brothers would look at you like you're stupid, like, what you talking about, bro? But by the fact, we coming out here sacrificing our time out of the day to, to push this work shows that there's a heavenly father, man. Yeah, man. Because that's the only way we can all come together. Lifestyles. Yeah, it's finished. Okay, you got to think about it. It is a lot of men that was up and down in this world that's in this truth right now. And they forsook it all. Just like Moses. Moses was in a, uh, Pharaoh's house. And, and he was like, man, hell no, this ain't it. And Moses went to go visit his brother. That was the other that had been a man, an Egyptian. And, and, they, and they scoffed him. You know what I'm saying? Once he heard through scoffing, he knew he had to flee. Like, oh, I got to get up out of here. Why? Because. Because oppression made Moses mad. Huh. Exactly. You see the oppression of his people. The yeah. Moses knew he was a Hebrew. Because you gave you best believe those Egyptians told him to his face, yeah. you a Hebrew, nigga. You ain't us. So Moses knew. But when him knowing that, he started seeing the oppression of his people and then moved them with, with he got mad, man. That's why he, he smoked that damn Egyptian, man. So yeah. you gotta consider. You gotta give a damn when you first come into the truth. You gotta care about your people. You gotta care about your own life. Why, why am I being called this? Why am I being called African American? Why am I being called black? You I'm 22. I'm, uh, I'm 22. Y'all boy and girl or? You say boy and girl? No, I'm just a woman with a short haircut. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to smile. Y'all boy and girl. <laughs> oh, there's the shit out of here. There be lesbians out here. <laughs> Romans 1 and uh, 21. Because that when they knew Yahweh, they glorified him not as Yahweh, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish hearts were darkened. Because why? Wow, Yeshua waxed fat and keep it. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 said, they said, what the fuck do we need? Salakia, not to put it in the words, because that's wicked as hell. 
But they was asking themselves, like, what do we need the Lord for? We got land, we got cattle. They had everything they could ever want. So because they had everything they could ever want, they didn't reverence the most that for it. Then they started looking at the other nations like, damn, what they look like, they could be wrong. You know what I'm saying? They started, like, you know what I'm saying, indoctrinating themselves with the ways of the heathens, man. Because they wanted to have fun with the heathens. They wanted to be friends with their neighbors. And that's what, that's what Israel goes through today, man. Jake always trying to ask for equality. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fuck that equality, man. Why you want to ask equal equality for somebody who's less than you? Yeah. Right. Fuck that equality, man. Why would you want to be a friend to an enemy, man? He's constantly showing you time and time again he's a fucking enemy. He don't like you. He steady slaying you in these streets and letting his people get away with this shit. Now you niggas think just because uh, the killer of George Floyd, he got perks. That don't mean shit, man. Now who's to say he's in jail, man? man they probably did all that, staged it up, made it look a certain way. He probably out... In the island somewhere, like chilling, Epstein, man. Yeah, bro. like Epstein, man. That nigga ain't fucking dead, man. If he is dead, that's because he knew too much. And he was ready to put their ass on the chopping block to save his own fucking skin. Which goes to show you how they not even loyal to each other, man. No, hey, that's why they, hey, a kingdom that's divided shall not stand. Come. Right? These people, they, they'll they cut their own people neck in order to survive and get money, man. Come you know on. what I'm saying? They'll cut their own How you keep getting out of the camera, I... Oh, they eat their own no, no. kids. But like, I, like in that Romans, man, so it talks about how, how they all went in vain. Get that, uh, that, that wisdom of Solomon real quick. Uh, 15 and uh, the first Wisdom of Solomon, 15-7. For the potter uh, tempering uh, soft earth fashioneth every vessel with much labor. For our service, yea, of the same clay, he maketh both the vessels that serve for clean uses and likewise also all such uh, as serve to the contrary. Exactly, he makes vessels to serve for clean uses, and he also makes vessels to serve for the contrary, man. the opposite of clean. You know, the opposite of a clean use. Okay, let me give you an example. If, you know, if a potter takes soft earth and fashion it with much labor, and make it a vessel for clean uses, that's making a pot, a whole water, the pot to cook in, a base, a whole flowers. These are all ways, when I say clean use, it means lawful. Contrary is opposite of. So you're making a vessel to, to shape in a whale of fish and to worship. Go ahead, bro. But what is the use of either sort? The potter himself is the judge. Exactly. Go ahead. And employing his labor uh, lutely. Lutely, wickedly. Go ahead. He maketh a vain god of the same clay, even he with, with a little uh, before was made of earth himself. Exactly, you made you made from earth yourself, man. That's why I gave, that's why I said the powder specifically because it goes to how about Shimmy Yahushua how he gave him over to do that. Go ahead. And within a little while after, uh, so like it. And within a little while after returning to the same, yep. out of the which he was taken, when the light when his life was, uh, when his life which was lent. Him, he shall uh, be demanded. Exactly. The Lord gave you your life. You use the life of the Lord that you borrowed. He said, "He said it was your life was lent unto you." So you're using the life that you borrowed from the Lord, or right, to do this wicked ass, this wicked ass blue shit, man. you know, to make idols and to, and to sell them or to worship them, you know. Whatever. Was in the Solomon 15:9. Notwithstanding, his care is. Not that he shall have much labor, nor that his life is short, but striveth to excel goldsmiths and, and silversmiths, and endureth to do like the workers in brass, and counteth it his glory to make counterfeit things. Exactly, man. You're making counterfeit things, things that hold no value. Man. You know, you're making things that hold no value. It's vain. It's a, in, in vain you hope for salvation in this, in this idol. Go ahead. He said he's he, not a god, man. He said he, exactly, their man. gods are not a god, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Elijah was proving that when he was trying to get to the, get their their god to light the fire. He said, if you know, your god be a real god, then well, why don't you have your god light this uh, this fire, man? Exactly. And they and they prayed and they cut themselves. Morning to noon. <laughs> and they was drinking the blood. Their god never heard them, man. Biggest fight, y'all already get the Holy Ghost. 
Exactly. <laughs> so when Elijah did it, he went and grabbed a, 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 some water yeah. and threw it in his, his whole little fire set up. And still ask the Lord to set it on fire. The Lord set it on fire in the midst of water, man. Yep. To show how powerful he was. Like, come on, man. And he right. showed to us well that he would never confound those who trusted him. Right. You know? Every time you call on the name of the Lord in sincerity and in truth, he will have your back, man. Who has he forsaken? Look at the times of old. He has forsaken and right. has caused None, man. That's not right to attend. Because even, even the wicked Israel, man, we slapped. If we was out to look forward towards the east and pray, see you have a bar shooting out of that, that's it. He had been with the wicked. He's saying, it's long suffer to us, we don't want any of us to carry it, we want all of us to come to repentance. Uh -huh. But we know through the stiff neck and through the curses that is placed upon our people that two thirds of us got to go. You know? Yeah. But our Lord is long suffering, He wants us all to repent, man. Right? That's right. That's His mercy. What Jake took was hey, you see how Jake treats you when they don't like you, man. They be trying, they be after your life, man. Jake, Jake, there he it is. You know what I'm saying? They killing people that ain't got nothing to do with the killing of their family, man. but just because you next to that person or related to that person, they feel like that's the next best thing. Jake, Jake showed you how much they'll take you, they'll for you when they feel like you're an enemy. They'll get more wicked than the wicked. Huh. You take one of them to take five of yours. Like, that's not fair. Why don't you have the person that took the person that took away from you? Man? You know? But in that, and in that sense, it's actually righteousness. It's going to the laws, man. That that man that slayed that man that they was, you know, they loved. Hey, he, he had to hurry up and run to the suburbs, to the wind Like, hey, if it was an accident, if it was an accident, he had a high priest. Like, hey, his family will be after that man's blood. They won't be trying to kill his kids, his, his brothers, his friends. You know what I'm saying? That's how that show you how merciful the Lord is, man. Because although we continue to go off constantly before his eyes, it ain't like we're doing this in secrecy. We're doing it before his eyes, man. He still have mercy on us. Yeah, he said it. He had made it a. Uh, it said he had made his glory to make counterfeit things. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> uh, you're talking about wisdom, solid, yeah. He made, he made his glory, man. He's like, he's glad to do it. <laughs> uh, verse 10. Yeah. Uh, Elijah said, Behold, I am going to pour my spirit on all flesh. Yeah. Uh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Yeah. Uh, his hope is more vile than earth, yeah. and his life of less value than clay. His life is of less value than clay. For as much as uh, he knew not his maker and him that inspired into him an active soul. See, he knew not his maker and him that inspired into him an active soul. You know, the Lord gave you life and you can use your life to worship something else that you created. That's insanity. And breathe in a living spirit. But, but they... But they counted our life as swaking, but they counted our life a pastime and our time here a market for game. Yep. A market for game, man. You trying to make money instead of serving the Lord. That's why we read Ecclesiastes and says everything is vain, man. You live, you get a wife, you get land and cattle, your sons, you see your children grow up and old and you die, man. All this shit is in vain if you don't serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. So you the, the person that breath breathes into you life. Wants you the whole conclusion of man is to serve your how about should be outside and worship him. You know? When you are evil, you worship his people. You know what I'm saying? Let it go back. If I can land back, man, it goes back to what the brother was saying earlier, man. You got Jake, they work these jobs. Oh, I'm gonna retire. You get 60, here you are, you work your whole life and you die before you can get your damn time as far as Yeah. So it's yeah. showing you that it's vanity, man. I've, seen it, I've exactly. seen it happen to people. Exactly, man. Your whole life is for what? Market for gain. Gain and what? Riches, man. That's why when you walk through this earth, man, you ask the questions like, man, it got to be something more to this. This ain't living. Then maybe you should come uh, hear what we got to say. Hear what the Spirit got to say. You know? That's when you'll truly start living, man. God. You'll start living on this side, man. You'll start living through the Spirit, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
And then in the kingdom of heaven, you'll be living physically. You know, but coming to this light, coming to this truth, uh, this, the words that quickly you, man, these scriptures, these prophecies bring you to life, man. When you first come into the truth, you are dead. But then that spirit coming to you, man, you're being reborn, you're being brought to life, man. You breathe again. Man. You know? All that time you was in the world, man, you was dead. Damn zombie, man. That's what the elder was kind of going into earlier. He was talking about, like, you can still go preset. Things less or less. You can still go preset. Because you got to do like Stayed as a nigga the whole time. Even though he heard the truth, he heard the words of the Lord. He's not from the top of the head. You are the worst, man. You gotta be the worst. You know who you are and you choose to uh, not help. You know who you are and you cut off the balance of your compassion for your people. And you are the worst of the worst, man. That's why you gotta work for people. Work up with people and miss them, fuck. You know? Be that sacrifice in that place, man. That's crazy. Charles watching Snowfall. Last episode of Snowfall, and pretty much the dude, the main character, Franklin, his father's like, man, this dude from the NYP, from the CIA, man, wants to stop the building, destroy that community, and Franklin was so covetous, man, and then, you know, he, like, he didn't want his father to expose the CIA agent so he could continue to make money. And why he's making money is destroying his nation, man. And you got, that's the mindset of a lot of these people, especially the Christian pastors, man. Don't give a damn, man. You got TD snakes nah. on damn national television taking the jab. Yep. Creflo, yeah. give me your dollar. Yeah. He just read it, bro. What's the song? Read that again, brother. Yeah. Verse 10. You said, said TD uh, taking the jab. Being a spokesperson 10? for the devil. Yeah. Uh, wisdom of Solomon 15. 15 10. Hold on. Hold on. Basically, to manipulate Jake. You know what I'm saying? To, uh, you know what I'm saying? To take that jab. And right now, you got a lot of Jake. Some Jake's is actually taking that jab. Solomon 15:10. His heart is ashes, his hope is more vile than earth, and his life of less value than clay. For as much as he knew not his maker and him that inspired into him an active soul and breathed in a living spirit, but they counted our our life a pastime and and our time a yeah, and our time here a market for gain. Yeah, make for, money. Yeah. for say they, we must be getting every way, though it be by evil means. So you making money, your, your life that you was giving you, the person that gave you an active soul, you use that life not to worship that person, but to, 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 to make a market for gain. And then you go as far as by getting that gain by evil means, man. Go out so and stealing, uh, like you said, drugs. Jake. Deceiving the people, selling drugs, stealing cars, and no, never thinking about the Lord, man. You know, that's the same as idol worship. It's all going into idol worship, man. It all goes back into idol worship. You don't gotta let this certain bow down before a story, man. but it just said the person that gave you your life, and you use your life that He gave you for a market for gain, though it be by evil means, man. And they, they sold out for filthy lucre. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, especially like. Never have money a day in your damn life. That's what makes you so cold. 
Now, that may be the most popular way, you know, but that's not the only way. Whatever you gain, whatever you put before your heart by me, going back to the first commandment, it what? Uh, uh, Exodus 20, man. Exodus 20 and 5, man, it goes at the first commandment. Do not put anything in heaven above or earth beneath before you. How about show me how shot? That's why I said markets for gain. You use your life to, to, to market yourself. So you can make so you can make uh possessions. So you can get phylacteries. Instead of worshiping how about show me how shot. Him giving you phylacteries. You don't need money, they're treasure, because where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Exactly. And that's the money that you find. You find a path out here other than following the Lord, that's idolatry. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta follow the Lord that your maker and your made you and gave you this thing. Anything outside of that is destruction. That's right. You know, no matter how good it may seem, no matter how much you gain from it, it's still destruction. Consider the whole path. Right? Wisdom of Solomon 15, 13. For this man that of earthly matter maketh brittle vessels and graven images knoweth himself to offend above all others and all the enemies of thy people that hold them in subjection are most foolish and are more miserable than very babes. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods. Yep. Like the brother said, man, Israel, they look at the heathen, they want to be like the heathen when you're greater than them. They look at all the idols of the heathen and say, man, we, they idols get to, they idols, they, they can, they can do this and they can, they can have sex with other men and, oh, they can, they can, I can, I can have sex with my brother's wife if I worship this idol. Man, that's, that's good. I can do that. That's what they look at all the idols of the heathen and see what they get to do and they want to be less. That's Babylon. That's Babylon. That's right? that, that mixture, that, that strong drink. They come over here from all corners of the earth in different philosophies. That's the Everclear. And they and they and they allow you to choose what would be best for you. Yep. If I can say, man, that's why the Lord said, I was telling you know, the Lord said a whoremonger should not enter the kingdom of heaven, man. Which and is I, a gigolo. And I got the um, the strong definition for it, um, the, the word is um chronos. And it means um a man who prostitutes his body to another's lust for hire. A man who indulges in unsexual, uh, uh, unlawful sexual intercourse, a fornicator. But the point, the first point, he said, man who prostitutes his body to another, lust for hire, man. Right. And that, that, can, that can not only be sexual, that means it can be other things. The scripture tells you that they gave a girl, when they gave a boy for a hotline, they gave a girl for wine. Yep. That what yeah, that's what, TD, that's what T.D. Snakes, man, he's doing, man. He's a damn whoremonger, man, for Esau, for the elites. Not just him, but all of the, these athletes well, and these entertainers, man. It said for what? Higher for lust? Yeah, it said for, uh... It don't matter what lust you go into, yep. but it's still all lust, man. From this, because lust ain't going off, but when you have lust that, uh, when you lust after another woman, if a woman lust after another woman, that's going off. Lust itself ain't going off, but when a man rightfully lust after another woman, that's kind of sick. But when that lust turns to a serious and loopy, then it becomes a uh, sin, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta filter it through the law. You have, you, know, a, you have a negative connotation and a positive exactly. connotation to that word. And right. you said pronos. That's what the word porn come from, man. Huh. You know what I'm saying? It said, I'm going to get it again. A man who prostitutes his body to another's lust for hire, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It said porn, porno, man. I sell, That's my, all. I sell my body for your lust. What you want to do? Happy Sabbath, Israel. Shalom. Shalom. Sabbath yet, brother. Shalom. 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 That's it on that. Oh, you got the phone, brother. I mean, that 15, 15 and, uh, 15, oh, you, you go, oh, which neither have the use of eyes nor noses to draw breath. Start, start 15. Start. <laughs> okay, wisdom of Solomon 15 15. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods, yep. which neither have the uses of eyes to see yep. nor noses to draw breath nor ears to hear nor fingers of hands to handle. As for their feet, they are slow to go. Same thing that, uh, uh same thing that, uh, uh, Elisha was saying, man. You know, all your idol is not, your idol is not living, go ahead. For man made them, yep. and he that borrowed his own spirit fashioned them. You all, you borrowed your own spirit. You fashioned your God saying, oh, this, this guy is gonna go. But you just made it, just now, go ahead. 
but no man can make a God like unto himself. No, you can't even make a God like unto your own self. You can't even make another you. But you're going to make a, you're going to carve a bird out of a piece of wood and say, this, this bird delivered me. That shit is insane, man. You just made it. You can't even make something like, like it to yourself. The, the best you can do is ejaculate into a woman, you know? And you ain't even making it. You just ejaculated into it. For, for being a mortal, he worketh a dead thing which uh, with wicked hands. Exactly. You mortal, you work up a dead thing with wicked hands, you can't even make another mortal. You can't even make another person like yourself, man. You can't create someone like your, your own self. Go ahead, man. For he himself is better than the things which he worshiped. <laughs> worship it. You better than what you created. You more powerful than what you worship it. What the fuck? That shit is madness. This is madness. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> You can literally smash what you work in. Exactly, bro. <laughs> Something that you worship is supposed to be powerful, more powerful than you, right? Exactly. All right, then, yeah. Because when you have a servant, it ain't like the servant richer than his master. Right. But he's serving a prank. Right. Go ahead, bro. Uh, uh, so I can add. 17. 17, yeah. Whereas he lived once. Yeah, whereas he lived once, but they never. So you live, at least you live once, but the thing you created that you worship it never lived at all. Yeah. Yea, they worship those beasts also that are most hateful for being compared together. Some are worse than others. Yeah. Neither are they beautiful so much as to be desired in respect of beasts. But they went without the praise of the Most High and His blessing. Exactly. He didn't tell you to do that, man. Then it goes back to what you desire. Uh, my brother was talking about faith. It goes back into faith, man. Because if you if you want to have faith, man, you're going to do the things to get it. But whatever you want, the Lord is going to give you over into that. Into that into uh, and they are Romans 1 and 21. Because that, when, when they knew Yahweh, they glorified Him not as Yahweh, neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was, was darkened. It says, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the, un of the uncorruptible Yahweh into an image like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Let's go back to the beast that wasn't beautiful, uh, that their brother just pulled the wisdom of Solomon. They worshiped the beast, and these beasts ain't even like Beautiful beast, you know what I'm saying? These beasts be just like a fucking a pig. You know, it's not a beautiful beast and, and, uh, by way of uh, on outward appearance. Like, what the fuck? Are you want to worship a golden cow? Like, what the fuck? Hey, that's why Isaiah 5 and 2 he says, Woe to them that call evil good and good evil. You know what I'm saying? Because of calling something that is not alive good, and then you call your hollow evil, man. Right? Exactly. They've said destruction to you, man. Right? Yep. You know? Or not necessarily, well, yeah, evil means bad. Like you saying, oh, this way, and he told me to live is bad. Yeah. So I ain't gonna do that. You know, I'm gonna do this, but I wanna do it. But you, hey, and it's good, the good that you call it evil, that's what's gonna save your life, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you gonna call that evil good, that's gonna destroy you. Right. 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 Verse 24, Romans 1 and 24. Wherefore, Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of Yahweh to a lie, and worship, the, worship and serve the, the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever, Amon. For, for this cause Yahweh gave them up into their vile affection, for even their women did change the natural use unto that which is against nature, man. And all this is going to the Lord give you up to your vile affection, man. Whether that be bestiality, homosexuality, whether you feel like you can marry a car and have sex with a car, but you know, whatever, whatever you want to do, but besides worshiping the Alba Shah, he don't give that up to you. If you don't desire him, he's going to give you up to what you want. That's why it's important to, to, to self-reflect and evaluate yourself all the time. Man. Examine thine own self, man. The word examine is to test. Test yourself. That's what the Lord said, man. He said something that the remnant we are all in a sodomy. The remnant is not going to be given over to that, that vow, you know what I'm saying? 
accountability for yep. his mistakes that he made, man. Right. Unlike Esau, in this society, Esau, he tried to push the blame on everybody else. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All this, all this damn pedophilia thing come out, and he's trying to push as R. Kelly as the face of pedophilia. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, all kinds of madness. Man. Yeah, it is. Epstein had a whole fucking island. He had a whole island. You know what I'm saying? He trying to make Jake look like the murderers that we kill him, but you drop bombs on all kinds of people. The most they do is kill their shit. It ain't like they running into Edomite land or the rich and the wealthy and popping them off. They more so in tour with themselves more than they in tour with this song. You know what I'm saying? We despise each other, hate each other and shit. We got, we got too many curses to worry about to take a land, man. You know what I'm saying? But what's God saying? Yes, it's always amongst ourselves, man. It's not even against Esau, Edom, and his people, but they'll put that on the news. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'll put our crime against ourselves on the news, but here it is. They don't want to be reporting how much many times they ran into a church. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they ran and, 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 and was killing all them old four bites and Ammonites. They don't want to talk about that. They're trying to make us the, the face of uh, Asian hate crime. Cause we don't even mess with we don't we don't mess with no other race but our own self. And it shows you how we God shows the people though, man. Right? They gotta keep that light on us, man. Even in our in our bad, they keep the light on us. And just imagine in our good, that light will always shine on us, man. Right? If, uh -huh. if they try and get a hate crime against for the Asian to help uh -huh. them, yeah. if we go over here four hundred five hundred some years, we still ain't got that. We never the thing about Jake is you don't hear Jake at an alarming rate messing with other nations. And, and put them to death because they feel like they shouldn't be alive or they're in my country and they shouldn't be here. You don't hear Jake doing shit like that, man. You hear that from the heathens. Esau, eat a man. Go back home, nigga. You stole us from our fucking home. And you stole our home. Why don't you give us our home back then? So how are you going to bring us over here and then tell us to go home? Well, brother, we didn't come over here. We didn't buy a plane ticket. You know what I'm saying? We were stacked like sardines on slave ships, man. You dumbasses you know, brought, so brought us over here. Right. You brought us over here against our will. Now go home. This is not your land, man. Tell the late Latin, tell the native for the Latin, so called Latin to go home. This is what they lived before was fucking yours. Exactly, man. This is their home. Right. What the fuck are you talking about? You put them in concentration camp they want to come to their home? You should go back to your caves. Right, you go the fuck back home. Go back to the mountains, man. Caucasian. Caucasian. Mount Seer. Yeah, that's, that's wild, man. Bitch. Calm, bro. Yeah. They don't try to take over the whole world and then try to make the whole world look like the mountains. Man, go your ass back to the mountains. 
Where you for now? No, he's exactly. going. Exactly. No, he's going. He's going. He's going, he's going, to, he's going to the mountains for those damn. Exactly. Like, the missiles come. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, by right. 16 to 16. Yeah. And somebody yeah. get it real quick yeah. because he's gonna be hunting out for him. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 16 and verse 16. Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And they should fish you, not fish you, the elect. Because what did the Lord doing right now? He's sifting. You know what I'm saying? He's separating the wicked from the righteous. You know, even though he's bringing in the good and the bad, that bad is going to you. You know what I'm saying? See how, man, because the destruction is coming, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, then there's going to be something else that's happening. It's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Don't believe that's Israel. You know what I'm saying? And then, they, they, they're going to get left behind with the wicked to be destroyed, man. And then, there's something else going to happen. Go ahead, read. And after will I send for many hunters. Right, and then after, shit, he sent for many hunters. And those hunters are going to be those fishermen. That's right. It's what we're election. doing now. We're fishing right now. That's right. We're, we're fishing. fishing for the elect. That's right. Hey, you know, fishing is a very patient. Um, it's a very patient practice. Because when you first throw the rod in the water with the, with the uh, bait on there, you don't necessarily get a bite automatically. Exactly. It take it sometimes it might take it take patience. You know what I'm saying? It take an hour or two. Or even four. Before you get your first bite. So you know what I'm saying? It's still you gotta be still. Then I take skill to reel it in. You know? Now this thing break for trying to reel it in. You gotta take time. You gotta let it loose and bring it in. Give and go, give and go, you know, and when, when it's right. No, 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 that was good, because I was just about to say, you know, that's what I was to say, he was and so, yep. you know what I'm saying? Because you got to, you got to, you know, uh, do it with this. You're trying to get people over into the thing. You can't, you know what I'm saying, be out here being a nigga, you know what I'm saying, doing your week. You know what I'm saying? Because then people see that, hey, he's one of them guys that be out there teaching teaching the Bible, why is he messing with this man's wife? Oh. You know what I'm saying? Why is he being a nigga? Why he acting like this? Why is he out here smoking weed? God. Shit like that. You know, people watch you, man. And then they gather and they talk. Like, oh, I, went to, I went to the liquor store, yeah. man. It was, it was that dude, 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 no, no, not him. I'm talking about the dude I, uh, I introduced to the truth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was coming to camp. Yeah. He was like, bro, I know you from somewhere. I said, I don't think I've ever seen you, bro. He's like, no, I've seen, I ain't seen you in person. I saw you on a video or something. I said, the YouTube? He said, I don't know. I just knew your face looked familiar. I said, you know, but that shows that we, they, they watch it. Whether they watch it, you know, whether they friend watching it, and they can see it. The Lord had that memory just kick back in, like, you know, you seen this dude somewhere. And I said, bro, uh, he said, you push the Bible or something? I said, yeah, I do. I said, this shit is crazy. You yeah, know? Yeah, they going to do what? The, the, uh, the whole gospel chapter. They're going to go in the morning. 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 they some guy. people accuse you of doing things you haven't done. Gosh. Yep. Yep. You ever seen that dude? You got the t shirts from that? The dude with the, uh, the shoe place right here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that to him. He was like, bro, he said, I've been seeing you over there across the street. I said, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. all of these people, bro. Yeah, he, he, he always come past here blowing his horn. Yeah. When he leaves, and when he comes up the shop, you see this how he teach you. Yeah. All the time. And, and he, he well, I, I went up in there and got my shoes clean. You know what I'm saying? He didn't give me no discount. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I went there and count my shoes. <laughs> yeah, no, that was it. Yeah, bro. Yeah. You close up? Okay. Uh, uh, go ahead. When are you about to close up? Yeah, all right. Shalom. All right. Alright, with that, we give all praises, all glory, all honor to Yahweh. Yahweh shine by Shem Kakarash. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone Rule Well. Peace and salutations to all you out there preaching the truth. All right, throughout the four corners of the earth, with that, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Above the ball. Above the ball. Above the ball. Above the ball. Above the ball.